pixels while I'm at it. Light is green. Yeah, why not? All let's, right. let's burn one. There we go. Maybe two. Maybe three. There we go. I flushed a crit and a one. Once again, we see that Harton is a better performer than the actual bard. <laughs> he was fucking great at leading choirs. Oh, you're not getting those. Damn it, Scott. They're, they're just gone, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's all downhill from here. That's fine. You're a dwarf. You like it on a hill. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, mountain. I'm not a, I'm not a hill dwarf. <laughs> Practically a halfling. All right. I mean, a so, hill and a mountain are kind of the same thing. Have we hit the button? Yeah, light is green. We've yeah, been doing this for a while now. All right, so last time, who wants to explain the absolute disaster that was the ship? <laughs> How about the ones that got caught? Gaddix. <laughs> I'm sorry your locks are shit. <laughs> Yes, um, two of our party members decided to go into Zarzad Zord's room. They found the secret hatch to go down into the submarine, went down into the submarine. Gaddix may or may not have broken some of uh, Jarlax's very expensive... Uh... It's not a very secret passage. I got in there pretty easily. We did come up with the perfect excuse he didn't use. As he popped <laughs> his head up, he should have said, looking at the massive, uh, the massive column where the ladder is, I thought this was the toilet, and just have a shit down there. <laughs> <laughs> just own up to it is, I thought that was the toilet. <laughs> I knocked because it was polite. <laughs> G Gaddix went up. Just so that oh, Jarlaxle Lord. would be Hello. able to... Yeah, just that so Jarlaxle would be able to ask him, Gaddix, apologize for shitting in my submarine. <laughs> oh, <I can> <laughs> oh, man. It's a wonderful moment. Yeah. 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 Nadrax got outsmarted by a door that was chatty. <laughs> yes. Talking doors are weird. The perfect trap. Have a door slightly open, and if they close it, then it makes that noise. Yep. Grant, so I will give you a hint on that one, actually. He left it open specifically because he thought somebody might go sneaking Nadrax, and he didn't want it to go off. And announced by Lolf's teeth, because that would have people asking questions. So it actually is a, was a double trap in that case. And part of the evening but, ended with Jarlaxle and Harton with both of their disappointing kids in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> who both had to make apologies, and one was not good with him. <laughs> Nadrex really? never apologized. I said both of them, there was only two involved. Mm -hmm. Gaddix so and Lou. Asked, really. Yeah. Yeah, Nadrax was not asked to apologize. As a matter of fact, our Alexa was not mad about it. <laughs> but But someone broke yeah. some expensive mechanical spiders. Oh, mm -hmm. I did was fail a test. And didn't it's lock anything right up me. once he oh, opened it. <laughs> Nadrax locked up looked up after himself. Yeah. But yes. Jarlaxle got his paper back, gave Lou a ring. We gave him the command word for the ring and told him, please don't use this unless you are actively going to die. Lost more respect for Lou when he got lost in the beat of a door, which wasn't even a good one. <laughs> and yes, Lou went to sleep with everybody else in the house, so please, everybody, move your tokens to where you sleep. I mean, well, already there. Has so Susanna there. finally emerged from the bath? <laughs> I mean, she could sleep in there, right? Uh, well, not as long as she's above the surface. Mm -hmm. I mean, she could take a brief nap in it. Only an hour long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said brief nap. Short rest. So, Have a short I rest under the water. <laughs> it's, ha it's happened quite a few times in Salt Marsh. Yeah, I, I sleep under, under the water regularly. And for a while we had an aquatic tiefling, too. <laughs> so, of course, everything was fine. Everything was dandy. Nothing was wrong whatsoever. It was a wonderful day for everybody involved. Lovely little nap time. 
Except for Lou. Lou. You were awoken by somebody ever so gently stroking your hair. A very faint hand on your chest. You kind of toss and turn. You open your eyes. And of course, you are met with the stare of a very, very dead and very, very pissed off saloon, grinning wildly, his eyes sunken into his face, his cheeks gaunt. And as you tried to shout that command word like 18 times, if I remember correctly, you found you couldn't because you were paralyzed and stuck fast where you were. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Saloon wait. What, what is saloon wait? <laughs> it wasn't me! It wasn't me! Ah. Uh, mm, mm, good luck. Unfortunately, you can't say that. And even if you could, I don't think he would believe you because... As he's looking at you, he grins when he realizes that you are stuck fast. And says, Why, hello there, Lou. It's been a while, hasn't it? You've been missing our little lessons, haven't you? Unfortunately, I've been a bit predisposed. And as he kind of stands up, you can see he stands up straight and his neck has that lovely little crack in it. And his head is just tilted at that ever so uncomfortable angle as he grins at you. Lou, I've been waiting a very long time for this. I'm ever so glad that she gave me this chance. Do you know what? She's told me an awful lot of things. She's told me about that meeting. She's told me about other things. And he gives a little grin. You have no idea what I've been up to. And you have no idea what I can now do. Are you ready? And right about the time he kind of turns around and he kind of almost shudders. And he's grabbing at the weapon that you see to his side, which... It's a scimitar, but it's a little bit different from the one he had before, and it's certainly not the one you have downstairs. He almost gives a little bit of a shudder, and he kind of twirls around, almost as a pirouette. And, Lou, you start to actually feel like you can move again. However, unfortunately, you are absolutely terrified of this drow. What are you going to do? Again, yeah, uh, dorm again, dorm again. <laughs> so you're, you're just shout. <laughs> How many I'll times do you shout it? I'll just shout it quietly. Just once? Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe twice. Make sure you get it correct, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dormigan, Dormigrin. 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 Uh, Dormigrin. Dormigrin. No. Ah. <laughs> ah, too, barah, too. <laughs> mm. All right. That's good enough. He does twirl back around. And he kind of... You can't really tell if he's actually tilting his head or not. Because, you know, it's already tilted at a bit of a funny angle. But he just kind of... Oh, how wonderful. You're actually learning your language lessons now, aren't you? Yeah, well, I just uh, want to point going. something out. I'm really stupid, but you're stupider because you hate me this much. Who hates me this much? I'm dumb. <laughs> Lou, give me an initiative. As a matter of fact, everybody give me initiative so you're on the tracker. All right. If Lou ever decides to actually yell and wake you all up. Yeah, I mean, you do have thaumaturgy, right? No. <laughs> what kind of fucking bard are you? I have finer illusion. And the great... Well, the good thing is, gang, we all get an extra round of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is fucking great. I can't tell you what this is, but oh, this is fucking great. Oh, fucking. Oh, he's already to that. Okay, that makes sense. All right. All right. So, um, Gaddix, no. No. It is Saloon's turn, Lou. And of course, he does what he is want to do. Which is, I don't think a Miss? 15 hit you. Oh, wait, no, there's my AC. Shit, he does hit. Don't forget, <laughs> Lou is lying down anyway. Yeah, he's, he, yeah, I, you are in the hammock. I yeah. don't think a hammock, I mean, it doesn't, might not count as prone, but I don't think it gives you cover. 
<laughs> he yeah, is he still mobile. Maybe he kicks himself off the wall, like he saw Jarl Axel do incessantly. <laughs> oh. Well, Lou is, uh, yelping. <laughs> what, ki what kind of dick names his own sword after himself? So, Lou, I think you're hurting. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> he is only a level three bard. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, I was hoping you, well, you did yelp. So, Nadrax, I'm fairly certain you woke up to that. I was yeah, feeling probably. You probably Dang shrieked it. a couple times. Stop killing me! <laughs> we can't both be dead. <laughs> um, Harton, Uzana, Gaddix, and Horik, what are your passive perceptions? A lofty 14. Passive per uh, 13. 13. And Horik? 12. Harton... You wake up to- you heard some yelping from upstairs, and that didn't sound quite normal. What fucking dry is in my house now? <laughs> Ork, you're asleep. Uzana, you're asleep. Harton! Yeah, I haven't got my action yet to wake you. <laughs> it's your turn now, Harton. Uh, well... Don't have time to put the scale mail on, so that's a bit of an issue. But I do shift the love awake. It's been a fucking <clears throat> scream. <clears throat> now let's see, specifically which it's a uh, B stairs that go up. Uh, Just give him a bottle of whiskey and turn him over on the side. That'll make which, him stop. <laughs> yeah, it's the one. Yeah, those ones. Yeah. All right. So, on the bright side, it looks like I can actually get to his door in one move. <laughs> well, sort of. I, I suppose, yeah, I have to get up out of bed. Does that count as actually getting up? Because you're just sliding out. Well, it's not yeah, like I'm you, you, you don't have to use movement to get up out of uh, bed. Alright, so yeah. Harden in his boxers and slippers. Dashes to the door. Kicks it open. Well, tries to. I imagine it's locked. I mean, it's, I'm it, sure you could kick it down anyway. I could assume the worst, I suppose, considering, like, was it a blood-curdling scream? I it didn't mean, sound pleasant. He kind of dropped, so... It was more I of gurgling. Mean... It was gurgling sound. Because <laughs> I don't know what the situation is in the room. I know where Lou sleeps. Like, half of the water, water Davian people seem to. <laughs> Turning they sneak into his room on a regular basis. I, I could just... Mm, I might just bang and clear. Heal me. Hmm. <laughs> because it's a locked door. And I don't want it to be there anymore. <laughs> but it's you also our... Oh, half the house, too. Yeah, it's also our house, though. I mean, could you target just the door, not the back wall? Do I hear anything like insane cackling of satisfaction? Oh yeah. oh yeah, you hear absolute fucking maniacal laughter. I'll take a risk. I'm going big right from the go. Channel Divinity, full par. <laughs> the door is gone. Half of the wall is gone. The windows are pretty shattered. <laughs> well, no, I in this case it's like... No, no, in this case, it's actually Thunder Wave, not Shatter. But it's the same damage because I'm upcasting. Yeah. In this case, you see Saloon. And it's weird because you know it's Saloon. And he just kind of looks back at you. And he is still laughing hysterically. Staring down at Lou in the hammock. And it is not a pretty sight. As a matter of fact, he's almost about falling out of the hammock. Considering he slashed the hammock to ribbons, too. So he's about ready to fall down onto the ground. Lou does not look like he's moving. However, he does have a con save to make. Yeah. Um. Also, Thunder Wave is the very loud spell. Yeah. So he doesn't get pushed and he only takes 12 damage. Yep. And through the ringing he just says, The fuck are you doing hanging around here? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Unfortunately, uh, that's my turn. Matrix. Yeah, I think Natrex is awake. <laughs> Everyone should be yeah. awake. Oh yeah, no, Natrex this... was awake to begin with. Now Natrex is definitely awake, and everybody else is awake. This is audible. The free... This is audible. The three hundred feet. The whole house knows. Unfortunately, the whole house knows. <laughs> the whole neighborhood knows. That's not as big of an issue. Our guards will come check on us later. I'm sure. There's there's a bigger issue of people knowing. <laughs> yeah. Can I at least have my shield? You, you could have grabbed your shield, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was in there. He sleeps with his weapons under his pillows. He has <laughs> learned that much. I mean, Harton's armed, but you just can't put on a suit of scale mail that quickly. So he looks like Arthur, who's taken a hit in Ghost and Goblins. Oh. Oh. I did forget. Uh, wait, no, nah, I'll, I'll I'll do that later, just because I'll wait until after Nate Rex. All right. Um, I would like to grab a leg. Fuck. Sweep the leg. I'm not doing anything after cut the sword. I mean, he might roll lower. He oh, did. wow. <laughs> One is it? <laughs> yeah. One's not an automatic yeah. fail. It's just it's only an automatic miss in hitting in combat. That's it. Yeah. Still beaten by five with a natural one. <laughs> Nadrax, yeah. do you have any other action? Aside from having him grappled, I would like to drag him away from Lou. Luckily, luckily you could go forward because I don't think the wall is mostly there. <laughs> No, the wall on the other side is mostly there. Okay. Windows certainly aren't. I mean, I'm, I'm debating yeah, the windows... between pushing him out the window and dragging him further inside. The windows are not there, but they are higher up. But, yeah, you could drag him away, but trying to get him out the window would be a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Besides, when, he, when we toss him out, he could come again. We should <laughs> deal, probably deal with him. So I would like to drag him... Well, he can't really go much further down because Harton's there. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Alright. Then I'll drag him between... Raider background noise. Oh, oh and me. <laughs> oh, God. You're, you're still background sound. I just want to push the talk at that rate. There we go. There we go. There you go. All right. oh. I'll, I would like to put him here. Okay. So Harkin can pass by and do some magic to get inside the room. All right. So at this stage, Nadrax, or correction, Nadrax, Saloon is going to use a legendary action. And um, Nadrax, give me a wisdom save. Uh oh. Ah. <sighs> Fuck. You are paralyzed. <laughs> While I'm still grappling him. Yes. Well, you're no longer yep. grappling him. Yeah. <laughs> he. You just see him turn his eyes. He looks straight into... It feels like he looks straight into your soul. And you are just struck with fear. Meanwhile, um, oddly enough, it is Lou's turn. So give me that death saving throw. But at the same time, both of you kind of hear almost this vibrating sound going off on Lou's person. Lou! Mm -hmm. ah, that's just disgraceful. We didn't need to know this about him. <laughs> well, that's your successful death saving throw. <laughs> Lou, you're not dying. Well, I am. You don't want to walk in on someone when they're browsing their personal selection. And your finger is vibrating, Lou. It stops, though. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. You can't. <laughs> You're still unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> You're bleeding out of your hammock. Just, oh, that's, that's nasty, that is. Gaddix! I'm up, You're I'm awake. up. Yeah, you heard that. There was surprisingly something like thunder, but louder. <sighs> okay. Run ten feet. Grab the musket for home defense. 
Put okay. on your powder wig. Yeah. <laughs> no, put Cogra's in your wood dentures. Cogra's wearing my powdered wig. No, he's the cannon. <laughs> As the father's intended. And that's it. Up the stairs, right? Yep. The top one, yeah. That's as far as I can go. Where is your blunderbuss? I'm not a, uh, I don't have an Eldritch. Oh, I did consider it. Oh, no, no, I can't even where's... that far. I'm oh, only 25 where's... feet. Yep. Yeah. That's as far as I can go. <laughs> well, where is, um, Kago? I guess Kago could run up there. Uh... Yeah. Oh, fuck, I wouldn't be able to cast and... Thunderwave there. Because I hmm. dashed. Oh, oops. Balls. 25. We'll say he was in a panic. Mm -hmm. Five feet. I'll take an exhaustion for it. <laughs> Case of right, fuck, I've got to help him, have enough. Yeah, I'll I'm, take that. Why is he my fucking responsibility? <laughs> okay, yeah, Kago's right there behind Hart, and that's as far as he can get. <laughs> Dog bolts upstairs. Bjorn! You heard a very, very loud sound. The kids screamed in the room next to you. Yeah. Uh, well, that's going to be a hell of a round around. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, so instead, I'm just going to start with. Hmm. Just make you yourself know... big so you can't get through the door. <laughs> no, no, I was just thinking. That chimney, is that connected all the way up? You're going to shrink yourself fact, and start climbing? <laughs> Santa! <laughs> you could get... Shrink. You could shrink, yeah. but you'd only be able to get up to the third floor. It, I mean, I will at least get to the third floor. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Another uh, option, you could use the balcony to just clamber up the wall. I don't think I have the, the, the dexterity to get through the windows, though. <laughs> no, no, That's I just mean bit... taking the door up here. Yeah, but the the fireplace is right here, though. <laughs> but it's also climbing up a fireplace. <laughs> I don't mind dirt on my fingers, but first <laughs> I've got to walk up to the wall, got to bang on it and go, You all right in there, children? I don't know, but I gotta check it out. Stay in your room. I'll be right back to check up on you. I'm just gonna go crawl up this chimney here, so don't worry, that's just me scratching. I have gotta start crawling up the chimney. <laughs> you want me Give to crawl me a... it? I... Yeah, that'd okay. be. Yeah. Athletics. Yeah. Or acrobatics, but athletics is better for you. Yeah. Yep, you do get yourself... Uzana, y you see Bjorn's face in the, ch in the chimney. Mm. Huh? Uh, 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 hello? Pardon me. Yeah, pardon the intrusion. Let's figure out take a shortcut for that kind of noise. You already got a deal what's happening? No. It just got woken up, and something's happening? I mean, it sounds like the fucking roof has just exploded. Hmm. And I imagine this is also the part that this syncs up with hearing the, uh, the, the fighting going up on stairs. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sounds like something's going on. Oh, and I assume that I use the rest of my movement for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I use my action to move further? Oh, also, don't forget... It's not Bjorn saying this to you. It's small Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> um, you could theoretically uh, use the bonus action, but that's about to dash, but that's about it. I gotta use my bonus action to dash. That's what you do. No, he's a fighter. No, that's... Oh, wait, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm he could yeah. use his action Never surge mind. to dash. Yeah. That's what I meant. I'm having a dumb. I yeah. say this being a cleric who dashed and used an action. <laughs> but you got exhaustion for it. Yeah, I, fi I figured there should be some penalty, but it's just a case of, like, otherwise we've got to reset to a bit of, we're not even in the room yet. Yeah. Ajax is there alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably have to use a action search to 
get there because I only have 25 feet of movement. <laughs> You're also short and stubby. But don't forget, <laughs> peeking out of that fireplace was collectible size, Bjorn. Yeah. Yes, and I said, Jesse. Got it. Behind you comes a very dirty Bjorn. Who is smaller than you. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm coming to save you. What is happening? Kind of, he's kind of rubbing his eyes. Is he still asleep? Is this? <laughs> it's kind of racially insensitive. He's both in blackface and insulting gnomes. I'm just a deep gnome. I raise my gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harton. Mm -hmm. Give me your wisdom save. Alrighty. Prefer red over free attacks. I forgot for exhaustion, would that be a disadvantage? Nope, just skill checks right now. So I couldn't okay. attempt to grapple him effectively. He, he whips around at you. Yep. And he looks mildly infuriated that you have not frozen in place. I'll fucking finish you off then. You are going to die very painfully if I have anything to do with it. Get the fucking back of your neck, bendy boy. <laughs> Ooh, um. Do you want me to straighten like that out that. before I pull it off? Maybe in the afterlife. Maybe I'll take you with me. Horik! It's your time to shine as the speediest of the shorties. Well, apparently, seeing as, um. Fireplaces are an option. Can I speed up that? <laughs> Give it a climb. Because otherwise, I uh, I can't get there and do anything. <laughs> you can give it a whirl. You could do Savage. step of the wind, the dash with your key point. Savage little half like coming up there. Yeah. To be fair, we had a I, savage I, I, dwarf going up there too. Yeah. Uh, can I acrobatics it? Yeah, you can. It's I I decided it's either or. Yeah. yeah, you get on up there. You realize there's probably you a, your action. There's probably a flume there to stop things like this here because we can't just have an open tall column. <laughs> Not really, but yeah. yeah. I think it. Sansa can do it. We can do yeah. it. He can flatten hey, himself. If, He's a... if Bruner Battlehammer did it, <laughs> y'all can do it. This is something he did: climb up a chimney. Yes. Leave everything you read. There was already precedent for a dwarf doing and this. He got stuck at the top. Ah, he didn't have four foot to trick himself. He almost got out. He almost got got out. And then he got stuck and he got saved. I I look at this tall, menacing figure. Shout, gah! He's only and tall unless like you him. look at someone else in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I don't like dead things. They need to stay dead. Yeah. Punch him. I shall. Well, he, you've already used your action. I'd like oh, to no. Out. So you have already uh, used your action to get up there. Ah, uh, damn it. So you can just uh, glare menacingly at him. You could take a moment to get the suit off your face. <laughs> it was honor. Uh, I clean my uh, eyes so I can punch better next time. <sighs> All right, let's. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, that's upstairs. So I'm going to dash and I'm going to run into the conga line that's currently up there. <laughs> huh? There's on a charging up there, obviously, one of Harton's old college shirts. <sighs> What's the noise about? There's a fucking crack neck drow in here at Saloon back. Uh, wait, he is dead. He fucking will be again, too. Uh, do we have a necromancer to deal with? Maybe. Actually, yes, you were hired to do that. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Potentially. I don't think Martin. that one's dry involved, though. <laughs> Oh, boy. Can I lean my head in the spot, Lou? 
You could, yeah. <sighs> Lou, you're not dead. <laughs> the path. When you Hello? do that, Saloon gives an unearthly hiss and a shudder. Good. Fuck you. So close. You're so <laughs> close. Ah, boy, and then pff, I've already used my bonus action, sadly. The loon is going to be so pissed that he didn't manage to finish the job. <laughs> uh, Probably would charge up with a hammer eye. But it's still a cursed roll. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. <Of course>. Okay. <laughs> wow. Better. Yeah, look at that, though. It's got dives. <laughs> Just wanted to shake it out. So yeah, that's a clear miss. <laughs> and, uh... Hmm. Can I... Uh, God, hmm. I imagine if I moved to a corner, that would be sort of an opportunity attack or an awkward bit of line of sight. Yeah, because, yeah, you'd be out of line of sight for that, yeah. Well, it wouldn't really be an opportunity attack, but definitely line of sight. Yeah, line of sight's an issue, though. Ah, uh, but... And it doesn't make sense that he'd step out of way for other people to get involved and for him to attack yeah. them. <laughs> Uh, I, mean, I could still try to grapple him again and move him out of the way because we'll, we'll see. I, did you actually did you miss that I said I wanted to drag him over there? I did even ping. Oh, I thought you wanted to leave him there. No, I did specifically say I wanted okay. to move him out of the okay, way then. so other people can get okay. inside. I yeah. would have moved there. Only thing for yeah, there you go. Um, only thing for Nadrax is he is paralyzed right now, so you can't really. He's no longer grappled now, but that was the position yeah. he was moving yeah. him to. Yeah. Yeah. That's my so turn. So, Nadrak, you're paralyzed. In we fear. Make safe. Uh, you already did your paralyzed bit, so it's until his next turn. You get to make a save after his, um... Da-da-da-da-da... At the end of his next turn. Yeah, this isn't whole oh, person. Right. Yeah. Um, now, next turn, when you're frightened, you'll be able to make a save. Now, Lou, your ring has vibrated again, which everybody in the room gets to now hear, and you get to realize for the first time because you were unconscious. That's a, that's a dodgy thing, that. Did, we, did he catch you in the private moment? Oh, he gave, it was a gift, which would be weird for <laughs> potentially a father. Uh, you don't know that, Lou. <laughs> Jarlaxle has not fucking in. stopped for that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Out of character, but... <laughs> I think operating procedure is not to say anything. I think. That's what he said. Okay. Did he say not to say anything? <laughs> I mean, unless I'm not dying. I think I'm about to die still. Lou, Nadrax is paralyzed, so he can't complain. Maybe get into his room. I'd like to point out, Lou, he did say that if he buzzes you back to respond, because he's checking on you. I have something in my throat. <laughs> Fucking hell. So Darmigan, 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 Darmigan. I've said like five times. <laughs> Lou is fine. Uh, Lou, Saloon actually does look at you. And he is grinning ear to ear. Where'd you learn that one? Me, 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 me. Do we actually Bitch. know what it means? <laughs> Does. You all don't. Lou does doesn't not even know what well. it means. The loon does. So, Lou, uh, Saloon is lit the fuck up. Well, he's got a deck save, but also so do we. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you filled the room. Well, I could just do it outside and towards the window. I mean, he's standing he there. He is and not there is... lit up. <laughs> I think Nadrax is being paralyzed. Yeah. Yep. Automatically fail. Yep. <laughs> I am not lit up because I saw that shit coming and stepped back through the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I okay, should have reduced so... him. I think you should drop concentration. <laughs> yeah, I could do that immediately, right? Making Nadrex glitter. <laughs> yeah, you made Nadrex glitter, and then you drop it again as you realize, oh fuck, that was a bad idea. Uh, I should probably jump out the window. No, fucking hell. 
gonna hide behind Horg. <laughs> it's a good idea. That isn't a good plan. No, I'll put a hand on her shoulder and say, you is got it, this, and give an inspiration. Is it, possi- yes. is it possible for you to hide behind Horik? I don't... Yeah. Oh, well, I'm just... Yeah. He cowers. I mean, if he, and if he's inspired, he can protect me, I think. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the logistics of what's going Yor's on. Yor's gonna get such a bollocking for tramping around big fucking sooty footprints in my room. Although, tiny no. ones. Gaddix, what are you doing? You've heard a lot of sounds up there. Yeah. It is pure, unadulterated chaos. Can I go get through the door? He can. He can go by. By yes. He can. He can squeeze in there. Yeah. Yes. Fucking watch it. I'm not me armor. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, pretty sure he's biting the right person. This. Will attempt to bite saloon. Does he bite Saloon? 15? No. You do not bite Saloon. Right. And I'm still down. Yeah, time to move. 5, 10. I mean, I could squeeze past. Yeah, 20 feet puts you at the door. 25 would put me in Adrax's room. Of 25 feet. Yeah, 20 would put you in the door. There. there. Right, I'm in my boxers, and, not my uh, cup, so don't aim any higher than my knee. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna. gonna... There's actually there's something of me there. Very, very challenging shot here. Hell isn't helping either. Um, I'll you're clinch. not playing sniper. Remember, you're not playing Sniper Elite right now. Avoid the ball shot. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Arden, you jump as that almost goes into your foot. Fucking point the gun up, maybe. <laughs> Fuck you. Stop moving. I fucking have to. You're gonna pu- You're gonna nail me to the fucking floor. Bjorn, I told you to you stay know. still. You know the whining those two are giving. You know yeah. where the combat is. Yeah. I mean, there was also a massive thunder crash and glass shattering. There's only one room in the house where that sort of thing would happen on a regular basis. The one that's infested with drow. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, we're going up the wrong stairs. Oh, no, we're coming up these stairs. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Which means they're actually further the ahead. Uh, Nat and Jinx will be there. Next. Moving around it. You! Go to pack to the bed now! I'm just looking! You almost you're fucking not- shot me, Gaix! <laughs> yeah, you're not looking right now. You're going back to the bed until I figure out what's going on. I'm not gonna repeat myself, young man. We won't go any further. We'll stay right here! And he's just gonna run off and he's gonna have to sprint off. <laughs> like he doesn't have time to argue here. But he'll make it here, but that's all he's going to be able to do because he's not having a, ch- a straight line to charge. <laughs> so he's going to come up the stairs, stand next to you, and go. <laughs> the fuck was that? I thought it was a man. The fuck was that? I thought it was a ball with a beard. Because uh, he's doing his little tap, tap, tap in the small form. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> then he's just going to go into regular size mode. <laughs> But it's just the <laughs> idea we hear the little, like, tap tap tapping up the stairs. <laughs> just give me, give us a few seconds, you weird fucking undead-looking creature, and I'm gonna kick your ass. You I tell him, Bjorn, time. good lad. Hit him first. Jeez. Well. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Things are about to get fun. It's a lot of attacks. Fireball! Darkness. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I should've used Fog Cloud. Boof. Darkness. Now this oh, is gonna sake. get very <laughs> awkward as you feel 
all of you feel the drow moving through the lot of you. Bjorn, you feel a pushing. Ah, we Give can't me... see. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but it, it's it's darkness. You can't yeah. see. Cannot see we shit. We can. Somebody's glowing. Who's glowing? No, no. Fire fairy fire glow. doesn't go through it, and he cancelled that anyway. Yeah, he cancelled uh, it. Need a higher level spell to get rid of darkness. Yeah. Like daylight. <laughs> It would also so, only illuminate him. Yeah. So yeah, Bjorn, give me a. It would be a. What you calls it? Um. Yeah, it's in athletics. He's trying to shove you out of the way. It's basically this. Yep. Yeah. And he does. Yep. You get shoved. Luckily, no one yeah. saw that. Yep. <laughs> And, oh yeah, I forgot to do this already, so I need to do this again, because I'm dumber than shit. There we go. Okay, yep, he's got that back. And yet, yeah, Nadrax, you are now no longer paralyzed, but you are feared. You cannot move closer to Saloon, but you could, you know, still use action. I don't know where Saloon is. Yeah, nobody knows where Saloon is no, right no, now. It's, no, it's actual so effect. I, the, the fear effect doesn't yeah. matter if you can't see him. Yeah. Yeah, you, you just won't... Well, pretty much you're not moving from that corner. Uh, why, though? <laughs> I don't know where to run away from Saloon. Yeah. It's a magical thing. Yeah. And you don't have to actually run. It's just you can't, you know, move any closer to him. Horik! You, you feel a lot of rustling I'm, going on. I could try to throw daggers into the darkness. Yeah. You'll just be at disadvantage. Ah, yeah. my fucking eye! <laughs> I'm higher. Most of the room are short. <laughs> yeah, let's toss a dagger. So, Horik! Wait, no, no, Nadrax, it's not your you. turn yet. Not your turn yet. It's just right. you're no longer paralyzed. Right. Horik! You can't see. No. I know he's there, though, don't I? You know he... Well, correction, you don't really know. All you'd have heard was Bjorn having a bit of a whiny fit. And there's a lot of rustling going on in the area in front of you, which makes sense. Okay. Because I'm going to do something really stupid. I cast Magic Missile. <laughs> you need to be able to see them. Yeah, you need to yeah. see them. Can I cast Magic Missile at the darkness? No, no, come no, on, that's an old that's skit. Not how that works. <laughs> it's a classic it's skit, but not the time. <laughs> I don't I mean, think I can do anything at this point besides move around in the dark, and that wouldn't be helpful. Just swing wild, wee man. He's got to be. Near. We heard Bjorn curse and shuffle and clink. Yeah. Yeah, theoretically, you can still try to attack. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to start throwing punches in his general direction, because that's what I do. Okay. Disadvantage. Yep. Yep. Okay. Nope. Could have worked. And another... <laughs> uh, 16 hits. 16 does hit. You, you collide with Saloon. And the Bracer. At least you, you hope it's Saloon. Uh, uh, the bracer was four, I think, from memory. Yeah, D4. Yep, one D4. There you go. Does you did something. On the darkness. He does. <laughs> yeah, the darkness drops. Hello again, Bjorn. How did you get there? Would that make my last attack um, be actually at normal? It would. So an eighteen. Mm -hmm. I had to dodge the. I had to dodge. I had to dodge him. He was swinging at me. I shoved you. Yeah, I started <laughs> wishing. I had to react. I bodily shoved him out of the way. Can't hear you. I've broken neck. Little weakling. 
You're still clarifying? You're dead already, guy. Come on. <laughs> Nobody cares about your fucking honor. No one cared about you. <laughs> Let alone the honor <laughs> part. Hey, uh... Susanna! It's light in there now. No, oh, well, that's good. And you do have the ring. The ring? Yeah, I'll give you a ring of spell storing. Right. That Wait. has guiding bolts in it, doesn't it? It has mm -hmm. two guiding bolts, one magic missile, and one shatter. Oh, well, this seems like a good time for guiding bolt. Uh, hmm. Unless you've got Who's a spell in your here? own. Oh, that's Gaddix, right. Gaddix replaced his spell. Excuse me a second. I don't recognize you. <laughs> no, it's just, I just replaced the gnome. Yeah. Ah, All right. Jesus. Your volume oh, adjusted. You just saw it. No. Uh, so, what's the role I need for the guiding bolt? Oh, it's just I basically cast it. But okay, if, you, well, if, if you want to do it, though, it'll be a d20 plus 6. Yeah, you can cast it. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I'm not been having great luck. But, you know, fuck it. <laughs> it's Saloon, so my guiding bolts just go to him. <laughs> yep. Jesus. <laughs> and then and I take a step back. Lit up and hisses <laughs> horribly. That's my fucking wee woman. Go on, yeah. You got it, hon. Go and hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I set him up for you, honey. <laughs> that must You're have just gave him a. That must have given Saloon a flashback. It, yeah, he is hissing and very, very mad. Harton. Wisdom save? No, it's your turn. Oh, okay. I thought there was legendary That's the ideal actions, marriage but... right there. She sets them up, you knock them down. Yeah. Also, I think you need to adjust your, like, uh, automatic volume. Because your Who quality made? just sounded different. No, Braider. Oh. Oh, well, I did up the sensitivity because you guys were getting background. Okay. There he is. The cunt himself. Ah, uh, let's see here. Options. Oh, I've got a feeling that Inflict Wounds would not be a useful spell at this point. I have no opinion one way or the other. So I'll Looks just like try to clump. Radiant damage did more? No idea. So, I'll just start with trying to clunk him. Nice. Hey! Finally I, hit him. Again, it's... It, just fuck you, buddy. <laughs> it works. I'd like to point out, the radiant damage did do something, but it was did not do extra damage. And I'll, I do have it. So, I'll make use of my last level 2 spell slot. To make the room even more crowded, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna cast Spiritual Weapon. <laughs> Which is the big axe. Uh, let's see here. Spiritual weapon. There we go. <laughs> oh. Harton said he was going to fuck oh. him up, and he is doing it. <laughs> he is. Oh, that's a piddly shit that. crit, oh. though. Two what? ones on the damage. That's it. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, before Nadrax goes, um, everyone, you see something very peculiar. Saloon suddenly perks up. And it's almost like he kind of gets a little bit of a lift, and he starts cackling hysterically. Absolutely, like, almost vibrating, and it is mildly unhinged. Don't like that. I might have clunked him too hard thrilled. in the head there. <laughs> he looks utterly thrilled like this is the best day of his life. Nadrax, you need to make me a... Um... Wisdom? Yeah, it's a wisdom save to see if you're going to be still frightened. You succeed. You are no longer frightened. Maybe the hysterical laughter, you're just like, no, I can't be scared of that. Or maybe seeing yeah. Harton just fucking body him. <laughs> Yeah. It turns it turns out it might be hysterical but Saloon has a really nasally laugh. Like the critical hit with the with the hammer probably knocked his head from one side to the other on that crickly neck. 
How about you get fucking down here? <laughs> I would like to shove him prone. Okay. Let's see. Yep, you shove him prone. Claw nerd. Well, no, he does get to... Well, what's the modifier for his dex? Because he gets to choose. Acrobatics oh, or athletics. Uh, Okay, never mind. Yeah, that I don't think he beats his cell with that with the no. ten on dice. But yeah, no, he does not. But yeah, he would be rolling his decks for these grapple attempts. Yeah, yeah, acrobatics or athletics. It's only he for initiating grapples, but you need to use strength. Yeah, and that will be it then. Just like Actually, to imagine, but lose in the corner, cowering, looks around Actually, just as saloon hits the floor. Bonus is actually disengaged to move back here, so <laughs> the dog can have a shot. So, at this stage, before Lou goes... Let me see. I heal or just do something really stupid? We'll see if he live first. He might actually... If, with three attacks, he could kill me in one turn. I mean, he only point. needs one bonus attack, I imagine. You only got eight HP. Yeah, but then he could so, actually kill me by uh, double attacking in, uh, my death saves. Yeah, but it's not his turn. Everyone... Really. In the room, yes. You all hear. Well, actually, everybody pretty much hears three screams from the children. And let me see. Uh, let's see. Here's a way for this to happen. You should threaten to cut off their legs, Bjorn. <laughs> and then... Should have kicked them back down the stairs. Showed them tough love. Head trauma is good for for building character. <laughs> This is just trauma, trauma. Okay. As we see a, a fancy drow just burst out of the privy. Yeah, the, you do hear three children shriek. Uzana and Gaddix, if you turn around to look, because you hear some uh, feet going up the stairs, you do actually see a drow coming up the stairs. This one is friendly. We just, I don't know, shoot first, Gaddix. We'll find out later. <laughs> I was going to say, my barrel is in his nose if he's close enough. Mm -hmm. The barrel's no, up. I'm concerning how between... you shoot your barrel's up your own nose. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, no, Pio? I'm kind of like, I've got the lock between I mean, my I'm legs, kind of so between you know. uh, Gaddix and the drow. Yeah. But you're very Chibuzana. tall. <laughs> so there's a nice drow. Is such a thing... Exist? Yeah, Lou. Although he barely counts as a drow or nice. I was gonna say, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's different. Both of those he barely qualifies for. <laughs> yeah. I'm just being nice. Are you using that or are you gonna do something else? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna do something else. I thought it's the drow he's, he's not moving anymore. Hmm? Is it his turn? Oh, I'm gonna do something really... Yeah, it's, it's your turn, Lou. Oh, shit, I used all my level 2 spells yesterday. Fuck. I yeah. can't do that. I was gonna reduce him. No, well. You had a rest, right? Just, we have just, not rest. I know. Yeah, oh, just before Harden went to bed, he put the guiding bolts into the ring, so I'm down on spell slots, too. Uh, I can still do this, at least. Uh, so I got my two gone. Yep. Back up to full. Now he can't kill me. Well, probably still could kill me in one turn. Yeah. <laughs> probably, if he really wanted to. Anything else? We're still good. Uh, I can't really do much. Don't want to move. Checking out inspiration. Oh, yeah, shit. I gave one to Bjorn, you know. Oh, buddy. I know he didn't push you. <laughs> You're damn straight. He shoved you. It's a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> As Parton oh, Hart right. just standing over the prone saloon, just pointing Bjorn, like, hit him here. Go here. Get him in the fucking knees. You see Kribig. Actually, yeah, he would go all the way in at this stage of the game. Fuck! The laughing gets more maniacal. Hello. How are you? Hey. It's really happening up here in the loose room now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the whole nightclub up here. Uh, the only thing happens is violence, though, and disappointment. <laughs> and say, learning. This is a place of learning. But this isn't the first time it's really happened. I mean, he's already oh, thrown. We should dogpile him. Oh yeah, it is. It is all of, both of those hit because it's advantage. Yeah, so. Yeah, we can't see it. Just remember, yeah. this almost happened every night. Saloon was in Lou's room. 
Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like so. Sorry. At this yeah. Point, Cribbig for some strange reason is rolling to the other I'm, thing. I well, it's just because that's automatic. That's the norm. Yeah. Yeah. I just forgot to fix Cribbig. Gaddix. This is getting out of hand. Now there's two of them. No, that oh, one's three. fine. There's also three of them, technically. A real drow. I was gonna say, did we? No, did we you're not. Blue doesn't count. <laughs> that was Cribbig. I'm in a live drow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, that was saloon. I am in a live <laughs> drow though. All right. Yeah, it's best not to draw than you ever will be. Uh, Gaddix, you're standing on Nadrax. Why? Yeah. Yeah. His token's right there. Yeah. Okay, on my screen, there's no Nadrax there. Yeah, and Cogos also standing on Harton. There he is. Not Harton. No, Cogos oh, yeah. standing Horic. on Horik. Yeah, yeah Cogos standing on Horik. But that's fine, because... Wait, is my it... Screen. Oh, yeah, because... Horik can... Is Horik a small creature? Yeah. He Most of our party are small creatures, technically. Yeah, he can, he can mount hey, I don't see either of those tokens. That's so weird. Hold on. Let me move Horik so that it can ping. And now it's back. There you go. Horik the dog rider. And do it with Nadrax as well. Actually, I already maybe did just, that. Yeah. I know, I see, I see them both now. You see yeah. Bjorn and Lou as well in the corner? Well, then, since the room is crowded... and Yeah, Cargo... it's full. It's okay, the windows are open. <laughs> well, let's see if I can... Oh, come on. It's man. even worse. It would be a disadvantage because he's prone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, let's roll the other one for comedy. It's another one. Howdy. <laughs> Again, my other foot dodging quickly. Yep. Fucking shit Howdy him! <laughs> I even, I even swapped out feats when we started this adventure. Uh, I'm a crossbow expert, so I don't take this advantage within five feet anymore. No, it's because he's Harden. prone. Yeah. This no, one's but, by yeah. your head. I'm just thinking, it, I'm, a cross, I'm a crossbow expert. How can help? Yikes. The only person in this fucking room who's as tall as me is Nadrax. Aim lower. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the grind. <laughs> His feet shaking around the room. This is not. It's not a good day. This is not going to reflect well on your performance review. After I'm sorry, your locks are so shitty, and now practically shooting him. Don't tell the guild, okay? <laughs> Wait, yeah. Did you consult the explosion guild before you did that to my door, Harton? <laughs> I'll talk to him Bjorn. later. Besides, you have a prone drow. There's a cleric yeah. spell that makes it an act of God. <laughs> Are we insured for that? Yeah. You hit. Are we insured yep. for acts of God. Yeah, this and is Forgotten Realms, so that's not. You know. Just... Let's just also just put him. See if he can put in some firing shackles. Oh, Although they only cover lawful and neutral gods, they don't cover chaotic. Works because they actually pay out. The, oh, fuck. Insurance companies are the worst. They can't We're be able to make a case that the god was chaotic. Yeah. So nine extra fire damage. Unfortunately, yeah, saves. Like, safe. Yep. I mean, they Does also. He take the damage anyways. Yeah, he takes the damage. He just isn't restrained. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they have a lot of loopholes in the lawful gods because if a lawful god does damage to your property. Yeah, but... It was meant to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all I could do. He already used his surge to get up here. Yep. Oh, all right. Because he had to shrink and yeah. dash to climb. I'm having to do a lot of math with this because, oh boy, some of the stuff that they've got going on is absolutely horrific. Um, Saloon is... Again, just absolutely cackling. This is a bad sign. A lot tougher than the last time we ganged up around you like this. Ah, he's still a piece of shit. Look at him, the neck's already broken. So what is going to transpire right now? He explodes. Yes. Like left death. He gets up. He stays put. And Lou? <laughs> he, I don't he think actually misses. He misses. Yeah. Lou, he's even more mad. That hits. Yeah. But you're still up. I'm not dead. You have like three HP left. <laughs> I have four. I'm I'm four. Oh wow. Going strong. And 
you all, you see something very peculiar. He turns to stare out the window. That means Fuck, he's distracted, right? Fuck. Stop stabbing me, chief. No, he's <laughs> very aware of you. He's just looking out the window. I gotta put a can on it next time. Horik! The drow is apparently looking at the scenery. Break his fucking legs. Twenty-four, seventeen, and eight. So seven, yeah, twenty-four and seventeen hit. Excellent. And the bracer. Mm -hmm. Is that finally? No, it is not. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. And you Either all good finally or bad finally. A red dot has shown up. Nice. It's a sniper, get down! It only took everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. She has all her AoE spells. <laughs> yes. It's it very difficult really for me to do anything in this room. <laughs> you still have a guiding bolt. If all you were evocation wizard. And so that's what we're going to do again. <laughs> do you want to roll it this time? Uh, sure. Yep. Plus six. Nineteen. That's a hit. And then 4d6 damage. Okay. <laughs> Thirteen. And he's lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> he is. And that's my turn. <laughs> He's lit up like a Christmas tree. Harton, are you ready to bash the guy who's lit up like a Christmas tree? Unless he does something before that. <laughs> it's not his turn. Okay, good. As Harton just leans in and just says, Oh, they fucking know how to hit you, don't they? They careen in like they're like it's fucking easy. Like this naturally drawn to you. I'm going to use my spiritual weapon to hit him first. Using the advantage. Which is very helpful. 12 force, nice. <laughs> Go, he, yeah, he's not looking too hot. Then I just bash him, but I think I missed there. Yeah, you miss. It's all right. I'd say I've done plenty of damage here, thanks to Uzi chipping in. <laughs> all right, mm -hmm. so. I'm going to point, it's not your turn, Nadrax, because around the corner, you actually do see in the window, you see why he was staring into the window as popping up around the corner. Yet another drow. <laughs> another drow. Do you so fucking you live know? under the house? <laughs> case, though, I will point out, he is, of course, set up in his wonderful disguise. Yeah. Took him all 12 seconds to get here. Yeah, you yeah, no. you live in the fucking boat down south. <laughs> I think we should check our wine cellar for secret rooms. Maybe we should. I'm gonna charge camp. fucking rent here just on assumption. That was my oh, ever. Everybody, <laughs> let's see what happens here. Because the second so Felric weird. comes around the corner, he gets to make a wisdom save. Shall we three it? We'll take the awesome. boat. <laughs> He passes the wisdom save. <laughs> and then... It's going all right, kids. All right, so one of those hits. So Felrek is doing something. <laughs> This sort of shit happen often. No! Good. <laughs> and you do hear another voice around the corner call out, Not very often, oh, no! Oh, for fuck's sake, are all of you here? Is Zord coming up the stairs now? 
Where's JB? Jeez. That was JB. <laughs> is Kimmy on his JB way too? He just corner. is Kimmy in my bath right now, luxuriating before he comes up. Does he want no, a cinnamon he's roll? In my sub. <laughs> what? I don't need to know your personal life. And, and then Driss just climbs out of cargo. Hello. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't be taller, but I thought time. you'd be. <laughs> it turns out Gaddix was lying. He was just giving Dr uh, Dr Driss booze to keep him in cargo. Yeah. And then Bjorn pulls off his beard. Twas I, a bruner of a whole time. Wait, <laughs> oh, what, what is that coffee if Driss is inside cargo? <laughs> <laughs> when, oh. when you like to know. <laughs> Yeah, hard is just oh, fucking. Amazing. They're every fucking oh. where. <laughs> yeah, you recruit one, you get the whole family. Didn't you know that? This just strikes me as one of those movies where it doesn't make sense, but we had the rights to it, so sure. <laughs> <laughs> Lou says that there's a bit of a flash in Harden's face because hey, he he sort of guesses, but that he, Lou might be family. <laughs> From what the ancient evil spoke to him. The family. Are they just like hanging well, on the family, outside wall? Yeah, to be fucking on here. So here's my question: How would Harton know that? Because there was no actual indication of that by what the agent said. Just because of uh, trying to remember what it, the exact words are, but indicate like you know, the person who doesn't show his emblem publicly and all other sort of things. So he's just assuming it's probably this fancy man here. So, just on the few drow he knows, and the and the great interest Arlaxel is showing in this. And he also did say that he banged Lou's mom <laughs> around the same time that a Lou was born. Ooh. It's more coincidence, you know. I'm saying there's enough to base an assumption on there. Yeah. I like you have to I try that hard. Put a second bonus dagger. I'm guessing you walked through one of us to stab him, yeah? I throwed him. Yeah, you wouldn't... No, you would... I suppose you get the second attack, yeah. Yeah. Two daggers, cl one dagger clattering over Bjorn's head. Yeah. It's just yeah. the second... Uh, the second dagger would have not the ability modifier. Yeah. Nothing says I can't throw both weapons. Yeah. Uh, right around this time, yep. Jarl Axel does come actually into. Can I get on the right menu? Holy fuck. Jarl ah, Axel does come into view. Those are so many low rolls on the sneak attack and general the attack in all, all in all. And here we go. Let's see. And he is instead just flat out stabbing. See if that hit. That hit. Oh, gee, the guy with a plus three weapon hits easily. What a shock. Yeah. <laughs> and a plus Possibly, six in his stat. <laughs> and you do notice, yep, he runs Saloon through. And yes, this does end our combat wonderfully. I'm starting to think this may be a trap. Why would it be a trap? Well, Why I died first. I think I died too soon. And he does he is not not happy. Saloon is growling and he is incredibly frustrated that he didn't get a single one of you. <laughs> and he looks back at you, Lou, and he it says, It's not very fair that you can call to daddy and he comes to your rescue. Oh shit. Next time I'm gonna kill you myself. Clearly they didn't do it right. With that, Saloon finally bites the dust. Bjorn, shut him up for good. Stomp his fucking head. How did he survive the last round? No, that was it. He died. No, I mean, how, how did he... That's why I'm, I, I'm asking the group. How, how, how did he get, come back? Oh, basically? he is definitely a rotter there, but a special vengeful one. I, I, told, I told you we should have cut off a few, few wee fingers, but no, we had to do the right and honorable thing. He'll come back again, I'm sure. We'll have our chance. 
Also, but also, how did you just get here so fucking quick? <laughs> I told you, Camurio's on the ship. Ah, right, okay. Anyway, you better clear off then, because we'll be guarding away, no doubt. Thanks for um, the help! Yeah, cheers for keeping no Lee alive. <laughs> and they do kind of filter in, and then I'm going to move him out of the way. Oh, uh, shit, I've got to check on the kids. I mean, Kago would leave now. Kago can leave now. I need a new hammock. And yep, Kribig immediately starts down for the, the room past the kids, and the kids kind of make a startled sound as Kribig goes by. All right, he's Ash a friend. New blood. Also, despite the swirl of melee and screaming and yells and pain, I fucking heard Bjorn tell you to get back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were worried. I don't even have to worry about. There's well, not a mark on us. Apart from Lou, he His got blood starts to leak down the stairs. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Uh, oh, I, I gotta mean, put that back in! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> we figured that if we, you know, stayed here, if something was to come downstairs, we could warn you, and if something was coming down, we could run. That's true, I did hear you warn about, uh, about the gent there. Uh, give me a mo, I'll put my hammer down and get a robe on. <laughs> well, uh, as that happens, yeah, you, you see that, um, Kribig has started for the Globe of Darkness in the corner. It's kind of blocking the oh. way to the private path. <laughs> Why do we keep that there? <laughs> At least put it by the fire, come on! <laughs> but then you couldn't see with the firelight. I thought you all needed to see. Oh, no, it's never, never mind, anyway. I'll just get the kex on. Cheers for showing up. Anytime. And with that, he <sighs> goes into the Globe of Darkness and disappears. Oh, Jarlaxle oh. is also done up, not in his normal disguise, but he literally looks just like Jarlaxle, but an elf. <laughs> in the laziest disguise ever. You can still see in part where the, he hasn't managed to color the paint yet. Uh, you, do, you don't notice, though, he's a very slightly different shade of purple in his clothing. <laughs> and he it's just kind of wanders on down. Yeah, kind of tips his hat at the kids. Considering, you know, he's seen them before in that form. Yep. And he starts off into the bedroom. Excuse, excuse me, miss. Excuse me, Harton. Oh, no worries. Make your... sake. <laughs> I'm very grateful. It's just... As he just points at the glow of darkness. You know. In my room. With my wife. It'll be gone once Felrith gets down here eventually. I know that is just... Snake. Horik, you've got to learn the fucking share. You really do. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of gives a little bit of a shrug. Uh, we're used to this one. It's easier to remember this room. There's a lot more uh -oh. use in this room, though. <laughs> I do not need you interrupting. <laughs> Probably be an education for Felric, though. <laughs> oh, he probably needs it. The poor lad. Uh, much as Speaking my... of, mm -hmm. Nadrex, have you left the room? Or are you still standing there while <laughs> Thalrect is awkwardly standing there with Lou and Saloon dead on the floor? He's trying to blend in the darkness, much. but he's just, no. you know, too fucking big. No. <laughs> also too dry, who can see. <laughs> nah, I would have moved out. <laughs> Thalrect kind of shifts awkwardly and just, uh, you, you alright? I mean, I'm technically alive, still. Yeah. You, you look like you've been shredded. Twice, what? twice. You did it twice. Oh. It, oh, um. Is, is, is your hammock going to be able to support you tonight? I, I think I'm going to sleep in the kitchen where it's, uh, you know, at least safe. Oh, okay, safe um... is the wrong word. I just want to be in the kitchen, okay? <laughs> Um, may maybe after I head back, I could come on by and keep you company? Yeah, sure, it'd be nice. I don't know how much I'm going to sleep after that fucking dip point at Saloon. <laughs> yeah, I, I better get out of here before the city guards show up, but maybe afterwards and I we finish with our meetings and things, maybe I'll be allowed to come on down and keep you company. Yeah, there's going to clearly be some debriefing. You think he's coming back? <laughs> Who, this one? 
and he kicks yeah. the loom. Oh yeah. Oh, well, he's been re dead. We don't have any problem with that. Bit on the corpse. <laughs> Miss. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Spit around the corpse. You just get that. You just get that water fluid build up on your bottom lip, and it doesn't go away. <laughs> oh. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm not concerned. Uh, do you have anything to stop the bleeding that's currently still going on? Uh, he does a really quick check. I don't have any potions on me right now. I apologize. We were in a bit of a hurry. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna get some electrolytes then. Well, maybe I can bring one back afterwards? <laughs> I'll be fine by then. Just bring, I don't know, a pillow, blanket, snacks, I don't know, a movie, whatever that is. I'll just try and uh, replace my fluid as fast as they're leaving me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who wants coffee? <laughs> um, sure. Uh, right then. Uh, oh, I better go before Jarlaxle gets mad. Uh, late, later. Yeah, see, don't, don't, don't let the guards catch you, I guess. And with that, yep, you do see Felric rushes on down. Oh, um, a uh, 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 pardon? Yeah, oh, no, please, allow us, please. <laughs> And with that, he almost rushes down into that globe, and away he goes. Cannonball! I think Lou did well there. Not against Saloon, but that bit seemed about right. Hmm. Well, I mean, neither of you actually heard that. No, but we can recognize the expression on Felric. Yep. Bleeding blood. That is not the face of someone who is excited at having killed someone evil. <laughs> oh, boy. That was a... <sighs> What is with these fucking foot footsteps? What is this? Gags, is this you? Oh, no. Not even wearing shoes. Who was wearing... Hang on, I know of his feet. <laughs> you aren't yet dick. Oh well. <laughs> it's just a little soot. We can clean it up before bed. I know, I know. It's just touchy right now. Auric, I understand. it's time you learn to share. Huh? Yeah. Lou, can't, Lou can't sleep up there tonight. I'm sleeping in the kitchen. Don't know if I really want I you think... around all that food with your buzzing ring. Uh, uh, hey, it's the blood you should be worried about. That's true. Come here, you. Let's have a wee look at you. What have I got left? I have one spell Jarlaxle slot left. pokes his head in through the door. What about the buzzing ring? I don't know. Something was rattling whenever he was unconscious. There you go. Oh, don't oh. worry. That won't be happening again, assuming that he doesn't have another issue again. I just didn't. I just hoped it wasn't his private time. Oh, heavens no. <laughs> Could it that... double as that? No, no, I'm not using it that way. <laughs> and he goes through the port. Just, he's absolutely like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, he definitely did. At least once. Maybe not on himself, but someone else for sure. Lovely shot, Uzi. Beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> Glad they could help, and glad we don't have another body to clean up tonight. Uh, well, I mean, that's, that's a good point, actually. You also hear some knocking on your door. Uh, you know what? One of yous can get that for a change. I'm gonna go settle the kids. <laughs> should I explain this? I mean, he no, was to kill me. no, you should not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> actually, you know what? You got a good point there. I'll go do this. <laughs> I'll set up the kids. Thank you, love. And just vomiturges the door open. Doesn't even touch it this time. Uh, the guards look very startled. Uh, hello, sir? Hello, uh, officers. There seems to be a disturbance. There was indeed. It's settled now, though, but, uh... You'll probably know that this is the wonderful bar and ho household that killed that dry seal killer, right? Eh? Yes. Not that one. He's harmless. No, I can serial kill. It turns out that even though he were hung and his neck snapped, he still came back for a bit of personal revenge, and his corpse is up there now. Um, could you lead us up? I mean, I can point at someone who can. <laughs> Just gestures vaguely at those two. Yeah. Uh, follow me. Don't mind suit you there. <laughs> Get, you're tracking it all right, the fucking house. <laughs> Just follow the footprints. 
<laughs> you all right there, Lou? I'm a, in one piece, surprisingly. I thought I was going to be dead. Mm. You're not just putting on a cocky front, are you? Nader's going to be up there trapping everything. <laughs> Those poor guards. Uh, come on, Nader. <laughs> yeah, yeah watch your head. Watch the wires. So yeah, here we have the the miscreant. Yeah, don't worry about the caved in head. Just want to make sure they did not get up back up again. Bjorn, you notice something interesting. The weapons that he had, he had one scimitar and one dagger. And it almost seems like they've started to rust away. You don't remember them being like that before. The DM saying, you don't get loot this time. Yes. <laughs> In any case, yes. Well, here he is, and as you can see, he did uh, quite a mess in the room. It looks like um, some sort of explosion went off in the room. Was that him? Hey, I have no clue. That was just how it looks when I get up here. <laughs> um, is d d d is that why you're covered head to toe in soot? Well, it was either going up through the chimney to yeah, you know, there's a shortcut, or going all the way around. So, you know, I had to improvise. So, where did he come from? Uh, I suppose it would be better if we asked the one who was attacking. I think he mentioned he was going down into the kitchen. Go with me. Um, I'll stay up here. You, you, you go down, talk to the witnesses, and then um, try to call the guard. All right. Uh, and he, he follows back down to Lou. Yep. Right. Um... So, c could anybody please explain, yeah. where did he come from? Hell? He didn't come through the house, at least. Uh, all the doors were locked Maybe up there. Maybe this place called Texas. Could <laughs> have been the window. I wouldn't know now, because it's, you know, shattered. <laughs> <laughs> he must have broken through the window then. First time you ever did it right. Eh. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this comes the case, comes the court. I'd like a separate lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll sell him out. Sure. So, do you have any idea why he? So, who did he come to first? Did he stay in the room up there, or did he go elsewhere and then enter that room? Uh, so Nader's... still dripping blood? Uh, Nader... No, you're not. I fucking cured you there. 10 HP. Oh, the clothes are dripping. The clothes yeah. are dripping still. Yeah. For fuck's sake, it's hard just looking at that mingling with the fucking soot and ash. Well, I can't press the digitate, so I mean... So... Can you do anything? What do you have on uh... your cantrips? Well, I can be really nice. <laughs> Aye, well... Uh, let's... Heard the screaming from... Upstairs as he cut up uh, Lou here. Find him in the room. Don't know if he was anywhere before that there. That's the first time I saw him. You know, last time was when we handed him into the guard. I right. can't watch his execution, though. He might have been mad about that. Ah, uh, right. Um, I could see maybe about that right so, as far as we know, it's just he's come back to the dead for one last hurrah? I'd like to oh, hope so. it's the last one, I. I think he's going to be back, though, I would probably bet. No. He's really mad at me. He's if really he is, he's not going to be monologuing and spouting shit. Yeah. Well, we're going to make sure that, um... Well, I, I, I have to go get um some of my bosses, and we'll we'll talk about this, but I have a feeling we're going to handle it, so there's no way for that to happen, I can assure you. That's good. That's good. So, um, if you would, uh, I, I have my associate upstairs, uh, keeping an eye on the body. I'll be back with some of our associates. All right. And with that, yep, he does take his leave to go get some more guards. This is apparently somewhat of a big deal for them. I imagine so, yeah. 
Meanwhile, the other guard watches Naterex set up all kinds of lethal traps. Um, he sir, might have an can, issue with that. <laughs> yeah, as he says, sir, uh, can you not? We, we need to investigate the crime scene. Please uh, go into your room and at least wait till we're finished. We need to check this crime scene all before right. you make it into a new one. <laughs> all right, let's start there. And he starts setting up the traps in his own room. Instead. Hopefully Felton remembers to show up as an elf. Sort of this one. Yeah, he's some little shook too. Well, I'm just saying if we're going to have more than one god and I'll show up. I mean, at this point, it's okay to set up lethal traps in all of the windows, I guess. Given yeah. that yeah. no one is expected to come through the windows anymore. Farrakh knows how to use a door for a change. And the rest of the drow teleport into my fucking bedroom. <laughs> if the loon really was just a stupid one, huh? I mean, it's kind of a door. Well, if you, if you remember, Saloon was ordered to go through the window. Yeah. Because yeah, that was part of the game. Orders. Yeah. You should have disobeyed orders. See, this is what That's... loyalty gets you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that and being a racist asshole serial killer. Yeah. But yes, there is, for hours, people coming and going. They investigate the room, they go out, they go in, they go out, they'll go in. Oh. Finally, they do take Saloon's body away. And you all are left with nobody in your house. Thank you God. all are, invest are, are talked to several times. It's the same shit over and over. Well, it's the annoying part is that the detective that keeps asking, does this, does any of this mean anything to you? <laughs> Just one more thing. Who's this fucking hobo that thinks he's City Watch? <laughs> uh, well, Lou, if you get uncertain or anything at, like out there, or more of a panic, you can knock him a door. Apparently it's an open invitation to draw. <laughs> when I learned how to teleport, can I teleport in there? Fuck no! Wait, what if the door's open? No! Shit. Okay. <laughs> you can go in the usual break in the Earth Conga line. <laughs> 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 if you're gonna fucking interrupt, at least queue for it. <laughs> I'll schedule my interruption in advance. Uh, I probably should have said out the a lot of times that it's not okay to show up. There is quite a few hours during the evening, which is just for heart and a newsy. We call that the Glimbrook Twilight. <sighs> so, yes, Uzana, you have three very upset children. As a matter of fact, they have all gotten onto the same lower bunk together and they're all sitting there. I'm sorry, it's just... Oh, uh, they're cleaning up the mess, but it's nothing to worry about. Uh, come on, come on. It's time for bed. Why was Mr. Lou screaming? Why weren't you <laughs> screaming? <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's like his condition, right? <laughs> to be fair, the children did scream twice. <laughs> That's just case. Why just... was the drow screaming? You should be screaming too. <laughs> we just had an unwanted guest, and he's been gotten rid of. Is he going to be able to come back? No, no, he won't. Okay. You don't Thomas? have to worry about it, and we can talk about it tomorrow. Because it's a little late, and you three need rest after such an exciting evening. Okay. Thank you, Miss Uzi. <laughs> mm hmm They do not leave the same bunk. They all just kind of, <laughs> like, cuddle on up together. Aww. It is a very packed bed now. <laughs> <sighs> all right. That and is, yes. That's enough questioning. Oh, what a night. What a lovely night. Probably worse for Lou, but what a night. <laughs> oh, hopefully that problem's finished for now. 
That would be nice, eh? So why are you so against letting them in? He's basically family, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you're, you're alright with a dinner table and whatnot, but why is the room so private for you, Horik? What are you doing in there? I have come to do my exercises. <laughs> it takes space. <laughs> So foolish. One cannot be in such a fine halfling form without pro uh, plenty of exercise. Oh, it was more of a dessert that kept you up there, but alright. Why don't you go in? Just saying, though, we could add a divider, you know. Get a bit of extra privacy. Or you could put them in the tar. I want a room in the tower. <laughs> Probably enough for a hammock. Nice and vertical. All these squares were supposed to be five feet. They're supposed to be. That's basically Lou, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we just tilt it a bit, it'll be fine. Yeah, you can see by the square it's a little bit over five foot. It's about, you know, six foot. Let's just call it eight. Oh. <laughs> And then when Horg's out of a room, sneaky look around. Give a pat and a ruffle to Doggo, or Coggo. Good boy. <laughs> Don't tell Gattax I did that. <laughs> Even brings out a cloth to buff out the fingerprints on the chrome. I was going to say, eventually, it's going to be like one of those statues where you <laughs> can tell where you kept touching him because it's different. <laughs> <laughs> and then he will know. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> And with that, it takes a little while, but Lou, eventually you do hear the latch to the um, the cellar open, and you hear somebody climb on down and poke his head around the corner. As he visits you in your hole. <laughs> I live here now. I was about to say, I checked the kitchen and I didn't find you, so I thought I'd check down here. It is in our nature to like the underground, I should True, that is accurate. I mean, it is not light up here, or down here. Plus and there's wine. Uh, that is true. Um, after, after today, I think a wine would not be remiss. And Maybe he two. does drag down two bedrolls and two pillows. You stay in the night? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Wouldn't hurt. Yeah, it's comfortable anyway. This is the fucking, I assume, just dirt and uh, dirt and rock floor. It is um, stone. Okay. It is actually all finished. Well, pillows beats the ground. Or a bottle of wine. I wonder if it beats a bottle of wine. Mm. I, I would I'll say it compliments. Yeah, I was about to say it compliments it. And yeah, he lays out his and he plops down for a sit. So, uh, you, you, you all right? Well, it's like, just, actually... uh... Physically, I'm probably going to have some long-term consequences. Mentally, also probably some long-term consequences. I'm still hurting, because I, I, I did bring something for that, just in case. Yeah, oh, hurting got me most patched up. Okay. Uh... That was unfortunate. Now, now I guess we know what the dreams were about. Eh, I probably could have guessed. We knew it was gonna, something was going to happen. I would have preferred not that, though. Oh, it did end well-ish enough. Nobody actually died. True. It could have been worse. That was an unsettling look. Yeah, the whole neck thing? Because they hanged him? Yeah. Oh, but he was happy to see you guys. He was, like, really happy to see you guys. I don't think that was the good kind of happy, Lou. What does that word mean, by the way? What word? The uh, <laughs> one that I can't say, because otherwise Sherlock will be mad at me. And I hold up my hand with the ring. <laughs> Lou, he has no idea what you're talking about. 
Uh, I think I'm allowed to take it off. Am I allowed to take it off? I don't know what it is. Is that how I got you guys here? Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, you probably can take it off. I don't see why not. I just don't know if it's like if it's like you know, if it hears me say it, it's gonna know. And I'm very nervous about uh, about this whole little thing. What does it do? I think it just it vibrates. I mean, it vibrates. To, it has a pair somewhere. It vibrates that. Because all, all I know is we were having a meeting. And the next thing we know, Jarlaxle jumped fifty feet in the air, and was demanding Camuriel to send us on over here. Yeah, I think that's what this thing does. It makes Jarlaxle jump. Oh. Jump on Jarlaxles. Ooh, that's a good one. I gotta keep that one in mind. He does look amused at mm-hmm, jumping Jarlaxles. Right. Cool. That's actually not even bringing the idea of multiple Jarlaxles into this world. I think breaking the earth can only deal with one. I think the world can only deal with one. That's fair enough. He'd have to change his name to Jar Plentiful. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, uh, you know what? Why don't I go upstairs, get some glasses so we don't have to drink out of the bottle, hmm? Well, if you have to insist on being, you know, cultured, okay. Yep. And with that, he does go upstairs, returns with the glasses. I assume y'all are probably going to spend a lot of time drinking and getting horribly, horribly drunk. Yeah, Lou's probably going to take his the rest of his reverie once the party's all awake. <laughs> That's perfectly fair. Yeah, so how long do we get through? Like a couple hours? You do it in... Um, it takes four hours. Yeah, but how far did we get along uh, before we got attacked? Probably about two hours or so. Okay. That's enough time then. So, yes, everybody, you have some very horribly drunk drow in your cellar when you wake up in the morning. I'm going to make unusual. cookies out of wine, wine cookies. Let's, Can uh... you do that? The two guiding bolts <laughs> back in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> you need to rest to recover those as well. <laughs> And yes, everybody other than Lou and once he gets his, his rest, gets their uh, rest back. Good morning, love. Good morning. So nice to get some rest. You're looking ravishing tonight. <laughs> no, wait, I'm just seeing the future. <laughs> All right, let's go see our wee barons, eh? We do have to explain what happened. Uh, that's easy enough. I didn't want to give them a full rundown because, well, they'd never get to sleep. Well, we can just frame it as another news story to tell. <laughs> Shit, how much are those windows going to cost us? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, you the three. The children hmm? are all passed out still in the bed. Together in a giant lump. Adorable. <laughs> it reminds me too much of when Bjorn finally met a couple of dwarves in one of our early jobs. They slept like that. <laughs> Squidly is splayed across all of them, and his mouth is wide open and drooling. Uh, of course, he can't keep it closed even when he's asleep. <laughs> well, I'll give him a wee bit longer then. Why didn't I give myself a wee bit? Why didn't they give us a wee bit longer, eh? That bed was still warm. Because <sighs> we have things to do. Always things to do. Well, I can always delegate, I suppose. Cut <laughs> back a little bit, put the feet up for a tad. Nah, I can't do that. I'll go board up the windows. And then go find some guild fucker. Lou, you have also been educated on, on a couple Luskin sea shanties and one uh, particularly, apparently very popular song from Menzo Baronzon. <laughs> ah, you're you're yeah, not sure how well it was sung considering Felric was drunk off his rocker. I just need to be drunk when I do it. Easy peasy. 
How much does it well, take to get Lou drunk? Just curious. I mean, he's on an empty stomach. It's probably not too much at this point. Yeah. But once he starts eating, he can go. <laughs> so uh, whoever walks into the kitchen or, you know, the, the tap room, you can probably hear lots of drunken singing from the cellar. Hey. Don't. 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 As he just joins in. <laughs> <laughs> You better be drinking from the private stash and not from the one we're trying to sell at the bar. Uh, at this point, I'm not sure which is which. You oh, no. Are, you're not even had me in. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you aren't. Hi, I am. Uh, hi, Bjorn. Hey. What are you doing here? I left. What? I thought you were still here. Hey, you look like you're still here. No, I, I ain't left. Oh, you ain't left. Okay, well. Yeah. Well, I guess you ain't leaving right now. <laughs> I yelled down to the uh, basement. Could you bring up the bacon? Nay, uh... Why don't we try and get you... Get you up here and get some food in your belly, eh? Uh, I didn't account for the ladder. Mm. Yeah, that, that's gonna... Oh, yeah. Ah, I, ca I can do the thing, hold on. And he, uh, goes on. Over... No, he goes over to the ladder, and he proceeds to try to levitate himself up. Uh-oh. Now let's see. Is there anything that would make drunk levitation a bad idea? I mean, going upside down? Mostly, I mean, I think more, the... probably more that it's, it's probably hard to hit which one of the two openings does he have to hit. <laughs> the more question is, I'm going to make him roll a concentration to see if he can... Nope. Uh huh. <laughs> he cannot um, keep his concentration as he goes up. He gets about halfway there. Um, Horik, you see Felix's head comes out, and then he just comes crashing back to the ground and looks very confused. I'll try, I'll try and catch him. Oh, uh, that would be a... I guess I'm there to be... help. I'm just kind of clawing at Bjorn's legs, but I'm helping. Should we try to do a, a strength or athletics or? Yeah, let's do an athletics. <laughs> he lands on top of you. Oh, I, oh, I should have given you inspiration. Sorry, Bjorn, I forgot I could do that. It, uh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, sorry. I assume yeah, I... that it's audible. Oh yeah, you you do you you hear some interesting things, Nadrax. Because I assume you just came around the bar, so you did not see the drow head come out of the hatch and then fall back down. Yeah, no, but I'm looking down there. You all right? Yeah, I, that's okay. Drows are not very heavy to water, really. Right. You need help down there? Yeah, I think I think these these jets need a better or we help we get it up the ladder. So uh, come on. I'll he get up. All right. He spent the night drinking, but Bjorn woke up drunk. <laughs> <laughs> He's used to this. His system oh, is still insane. running on it. So, yeah, I can grab one and pull him up. <laughs> what are do you, you doing? Do you actually fall, Cloud? Yeah, just in the basement. <laughs> Mountain. I can't it, see the ladder no more. I must have drank more than I thought. I'll sl I slap Lou, trying to break his concentration. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Uh, oh, oh my gosh. Attack, but at disadvantage, because you can't see him. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Nope. You Lou just instantly rolls around, rolls around on the ground. Lou, would you kindly stop that? I do Oh, you gotta get right. your friend's neck broken at this pace. Okay, I'll call, I'll call no more cloud. Helpful. I'm gonna do this. I well, whatever. Uh, come on, let us see. Grab his arms. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, he starts up the ladder uh, very unsteadily. Yeah. But if you two are assisting, yeah, he'll be able to get up. Push him up to me. I'll pull him up. Yeah, yeah essentially. Like his arm or neck. Um, whoop. Whoa, um, I drank more than I thought. A lot more. 
I'm gonna sit down. How many empty Hello? bottles are there down there? Two. Yeah. <laughs> it's two and a half. I mean, there's one that's, you know, mostly full. <laughs> I'll get him a glass of water. Thank you, Nidrex. Hi, right, Blue. You need some help as well, or...? Uh, just a, a safety net, just in case. I got this, though. I'm a ladder man. Ladder man. If you're turning down health, give me an acrobatics at disadvantage. He barely makes it up. Bjorn, you think you're going to have to catch him more than once. Mm. Ah. Hello, Nadrex. Hello. Now you will uh, sit down here again. And I drag him over to a chair next to Wee, and the chair! <laughs> oh, thanks. Go this on. tastes really good. <laughs> this tastes... It's a, it's a very peculiar thing. It's no flavor at all. What do you call it? Uh, that is water. <laughs> <laughs> texture. Oh my, the, the texture feels so familiar. Hmm. Okay, <sighs> we have bacon, eggs, and ha uh, potato hash. Add some stale bread, and you'll have what I've eaten for the better part of the last decade. <laughs> ah, classic meal. Just gotta yep. make sure that these signed clothes are still on the door, since we now have two. I'm assuming that. Uh, is he still in uh, his? Oh no! Yeah, the the mask is somewhere, but you don't know where because yeah, he is full yeah. drow right now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna uh, make sure that the clothes sign is still up. <laughs> ah, I want to yeah. sleep, but I have to eat first. Those eggs look good. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea to do. Oh, um, oh, oh, Alex, I can smell that. Yes, that's mm -hmm. Oryx turn to make pancakes or something. You want pancakes? Okay, give me five minutes. <laughs> One of those few things that can draw me away from lounging in a bed for a few more hours in my leaf. Oryx <laughs> cooking. <laughs> uh, come on, let's pretend to be productive in the morning. Just a little. <laughs> So how do you enjoy firing off them guiding bolts? It's a lovely spell, isn't it? Absolutely. And the thing, but the arcane equivalent would be something like color spray, and that costs a fucking diamond. <laughs> okay, pancakes <laughs> with um, syrup and uh, fresh uh, strawberries. <laughs> Uh, anyone else? Uh, uh, anything is good. And, and egg. Lou, Fel Felrect is is leaning over, and he's he's like half leaning on you for support, even though he's sitting. Well, it would be funny if there was an apple that said egg, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would never <laughs> happen. Martin just looking down at his at his body and just patting the stomach. Uh, after the last night's banquet, I'm gonna go for porridge if you don't mind, Horik. A little bit of flare on though, right? He's already crunching yep. on a bit of bacon. <laughs> I've got to fucking stop. Mm. Can I do that? Not after what I did last night. Ah, uh, hello, Rick. Morning. Morning to you too. Do you happen to have your uh, disguise anywhere on you? What are you doing again? Do I need to bring, um, like, a plank from the ship? No, 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 I got the mask. It's a mask. Right. And I put it on, and then I put it at my feet. Okay. Or whatever I want to be. I think we tried drinking wine through it. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's in the... It and changed from a red it. to a white when it slid across the mask. <laughs> Alright, well... 
Just remember where you've got it, or try to find it, because you're currently not disguised. But you can't go walking out of a house just yet. No, oh, I couldn't walk if I tried. No, oh, it's just oh, to I make could. sure that you're currently uh, conspicuous. I'm a what now? You're a dry, and that'd be very noticeable in the streets in the morning, if you're not Lou. Yeah, it is normal for me. It is normal for you. It could be normal for Felric as well, given enough time, but not right now. I'm, I'm not going, and I have to sober. Okay. Also, well, it's just lucky that you stayed in the basement then, well, in the kitchen then. Yeah. One of the neighbours might have spotted you walking up and down. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I had the dawn until I went on the, 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 the yeah. That's good. Oh, pace yourself. Luckily, we don't have a whole lot going on this time. Oh, actually, come, come to think of it, we do. I got a fresh request from the garden. Hmm. I'm to meet a Kalimvor oh. priest called Ambrose Everdon. Do they do they sell vegetables at the garden? Ah, uh, no, no. I think if you if you pick some in there, you might hear a wince of pain or something. I'm not entirely sure how that one works. It's an enchanted grove, though. You don't touch it. I wonder if they do herbs. What? Hmm. Enchanted uh, spices. It's a Kalimvor priest, possibly nice fella, who's going to need some assistance, potentially with some necromancers. Oh, I mean, that convenient. I don't think he had anything to do with Saloon. No, he's just so pissed off he wouldn't die. Oh, 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 there was something I needed to tell the fucking Jarlax. Shit. I mean, uh, what that, uh, what's that one uh, northerner dude we we did have to uh, beat up? That was the man who really was too angry today. What is it you wanted to ask, Lou? Fuck <laughs> okay, uh, when Fox's face was talking shit before he killed me the first time, um, uh, he mentioned he got his power through some lady. What lady? Yeah, some lady. I bet she's hot. What the fuck, Lou? <laughs> Louie! What, what the fuck? <laughs> what lady would he get his... What did he say? Uh, I'm super cool now because the lady gave me powers and now I'm here to stab you. Ha 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 ha. What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hey, Drax, budge up one, budge up. What? Move up a bit. Get on a different stool. Go on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he wants to sit by me. <laughs> And Bjorn scoots away. No, no, he doesn't want to sit with Bjorn. Yeah. Hey, Drax, go on, there's an empty seat there. Oh, no, it's obviously for when Uzana comes down. Oh. <laughs> but some lady, um... I know, at least three. I mean... What kind yeah, of bard are you? <laughs> I said at least. <laughs> I know also um, at least three men. Did he, he make a deal with a demon? I'm, well, I'm not the expert. The shit. That's why I wanted to say to Jarlax, because he knows the shit to find the shit. I don't know the shit. All right, he yeah. also said something else that was fascinating. When your big feathered tip boss showed up, he did call you a daddy's boy. Well, I did call for help, kind of like a pussy, to be fair. I mean... <laughs> no, it's no shame to call for help, especially in a situation like that. Next time, it I'm going to stab myself. The very it smart thing. It was a good decision. Yeah, it was a very and smart besides, thing. Besides, I suddenly Felric stops, and it's like he's processed something in his brain and goes white as a sheet, which is very odd for a dark-skinned drow. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's clicked. That's nice to see. Uh, he probably knows a woman, too. Maybe one or two, even. 
<laughs> as Lou misses the point. <laughs> We're shoved over the head! Oh, that's not good. That's about... Oh, I didn't... Why do you have to fucking say that? Well, it seems like it was relevant, so I should have. No, not you. Y- you, you, you. And he's, he's drunkenly pointing over at Hart. <laughs> Just a bit of fun. That's not fun. Ah, it will be when you give it time. Uh. So my insides still hurt. Really? I think it's the wine. I I think it's from the booze you did. Anyone else for some breakfast? Or top ups? Egg. <laughs> and just something like uh, you said hash browns? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Horak, I might even share my halfling family recipes with you one day. That'd be nice. So, who's looking forward to Tangle of a Necromancer? I gotta take a nap first. I don't mean right now. Gotta find him first, after all, after we talk about the job. Mm-hmm. We're all on board, eh? Yeah, I'm not even thinking about having to deal with necromancers. They're usually always whiny, scrawny uh, people. So here's a question. Did you all lock the front door? Hey. Of course. Lock everything. We have the closed sign out there as well, I think. Yeah, I put the closed sign to make sure that no one just walks in. <laughs> Got a squirrel waiting for me? I don't know. <laughs> I, I see there's a Gaddix on the porch. Yeah, the Gaddix is like, come on, guys. Yeah, no, eventually he was going to walk in. I was just waiting. Yeah. He probably picked this too. It looks like this might be the opportune moment to walk in because nobody's saying anything. <laughs> Make an entrance. Right for a window. I give... I've, 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 right, oh, that's not the door. <laughs> No. It doesn't matter much. Okay, you you're bound yeah, to have a key. Around, yeah. <laughs> he just, Early. he just, he just walks in. I've got it. I've done it. And you see, he's holding something. It's not his normal gun. I fixed it. I know what last night needed. I know what the problem was. And he immediately hops over. He goes prone and he puts it between Harton's legs. See, no problem. Do, do, do you fucking oh my mind? God. <laughs> no, see, it's smaller. It won't get in the way this time. Good. Good away. <laughs> You'll get the user. He goes later. over here and he's kind of. He'll go over here. He's twirling it. He's playing with it. Don't don't do that. We have kids here. Hey Bjorn, Bjorn, set me up some bottles. No, not indoors. Not outdoors either. We're in the city. <laughs> that, that looks like mine. Oh, that's it's right. Out. You got yourself a pop gun. It's not, not quite like yours, but, you know, a little I, yeah, I, I've solved the, the, uh, the powder. You know. Oh, you solved it. That's great. Ooh. That doesn't need it. Doesn't need it? What? You, you yeah. blow on it really hard? Yeah, you see this spring? He kind of <laughs> cocks it back. With a boxing glove on the end. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's infused. It's basically a cut down version of a screwdriver. <laughs> if if you pry into it, he's pretty much disassembled the screwdriver to make this. So for the rest of y'all, the pantry door swings open, and in pops a drow who then shuts the door. Oh shit! We have back. a pantry. No, that's the back door. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You walk through the pantry to get into the kitchen. Yep. Uh, and... Well, that's new. You started to use the doors. 
he gives you a look, Bjorn. Of course we use the door. I mean... Well, that's I mean, the news to me. Work. I've got to warn you, a man don't stand there in this house unless he's going to go into the kitchen and do something. <laughs> I was just getting myself in in an expeditious manner. Hey. Hey. Hmm. Hi, awesome <laughs> eggs. Well, you're just in time. Got yourself a plate of breakfast. Oh, um. Southling approved. I, I, he always makes too much, except for himself. I, I'm good. It's it. Thank you. Um, I'd wanted to find the fell wreck, but I don't think he's going to be of any use right now. I have uh, there one or two. Yeah, apparently I you can use, carry it too. No, I, I really can't. <laughs> unless I'm drunk. Probably does better than Lou. <laughs> All right, let's if see Lou what didn't he have did. a magical crutch. Let's see what he did. <laughs> it's fine. How did Lou do? Well, he'll always automatically get a 10. Yeah. Uh, this time he's got to do it on re. There we go. Found. Finally. I should have saved that for an actual paying gig. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't sing as well as Lou can, but I can, and, and yeah. I'm a professional. Kribig looks amused as all heck. He seems to have relaxed a bit today. I mean, I, yeah. does Lou count as poison due to being drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you would have to drill the roll out a second time, Lou. I need more <laughs> eggs. More eggs, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Never mind, they're on point. Well, actually, no, because he still gets the 10 plus 4. So yeah, he does beat out Valric. But he wouldn't if he didn't have his cheat item. <laughs> yeah. If he wasn't a filthy cheater for everything in his life. <laughs> I had come to discuss with Felerect an incident on the ship, but I suppose not. Oh, hey, do you know, do you know, Grebe, if Saloon was seeing any women? No. Or, or uh, you know, response, uh, the dependent of any women. Because like, he said he got his powers from a woman. What? That was what he said. He was talking a lot of shit before, you know, stabbed me. But, um... Well, first off, no, he wasn't seeing any women. As, as it's painfully obvious, we do not have any women on board our ships that are drow anyways. And Saloon wouldn't he be the kind to go with a non-drow woman, if you get my meaning. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that guy was racist as hell. Yes. I'm no, just so, thinking like no. he doesn't... Does he have a house or anything back in the Underdark where a soul might go to? No, his house is completely destroyed beyond his brother. Yeah, um, right. He and his brother were the only ones from the Zabrindas house that survived. So what did he say exactly, Lou? I know you're absolutely drunk, but please do try to give me precise sentences. Okay, so he started out and he said, Oh, you have no idea what I can do. All these new powers that this, I got from her. Apparently he's French as well. Apparently he's French, yes. <laughs> oh, 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 the baguette. Um, let's see how smart... Is re religion is a wisdom, yes? Nope, intelligence. Yep. Oh, it is. Intelligence. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. It's oh, intelligence. Oh, checks, uh, yep. intelli Kribig has no idea. Yeah, look Don't at get that. Me wrong. I'm the cleric. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kribbing it's like you're doing my like... last inspiration. You got this, Kribbing. <sighs> okay, thank God. I was. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yep. Um. So I will point out. Yeah, Horik. I'm not sure if you would actually know this one, just because this is more of a drow centric thing. But um. In this yeah, campaign, what a shock. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> But Kribig does kind of pause, and he doesn't seem like he wants to commit one way or the other, just says, I'm going to have to speak to somebody about this. Yeah, it's um, better if you guys handle it. I, uh, it better not be what I'm thinking it is. No. Nah, he was nah, seeing nah. someone. Oh, no, 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 I can tell you that, no. 
Uh, I don't mean it actually explains a lot. I don't mean the prior or anything, but your issue on the ship, it's nothing to do with Nimble, right, Sai? No, no, okay. no, no. We lost another sailor. Ah, that's a Balix. Oh, Gaddix, you also rolled me the religion. Oh, okay. We're all we're all getting in on this. Sure. Well, you in specific have the ability to actually possibly say something about it. <laughs> <laughs> but not today. I he have the ability to possibly. Yeah. Yeah. But he's still fiddling around with his new toy. Oh, that's, so a, that's a lot of ones you've had this session. <laughs> well, I gotta play two games of Blood Bowl back to back tomorrow. Get him out now. Uh, yes, we had yet another sailor disappear just like the previous day. Off the ship? Not even. Yes, not even a sound. You just start tying them down. They were two by two paired. Huh. The one literally looked to the left, turned back, and his friend was not there anymore. Yeah. And there's nothing indicative. No, not that we can tell. Maybe uh, that dragon maybe... would know something. He's been watching the bay. I suppose somebody could have a word with him. Hmm. I'm not sure. We didn't even hear a splash, apparently. Well, it wouldn't be going by sky. It'd be a bit obvious. Was it at night they disappear? Nobody disappears off of the ship. These are all very specially trained Bragandy Earth sailors. No, nah, he's just one at a time of day when they disappeared. Oh, this, this, it was the morning. Um, mm. Just before dawn. Which is also, of course, when our folks are most able to see. Because this isn't in the bright day when, you know, they might be squinting a little bit and not paying attention. This is when they should be at their height. Uh, so Lynn had those uh, quiet boots. Is that a widespread bit of gear? For us, yes. But it's for, well, I wouldn't say all of us. Our sailors don't really have that. Um, Would that work for a water splash? No. Okay. Just, you know, checking also, also, Saloon doesn't have his anymore. I mean, Lou has it. Aye, but I'm saying if other oh, people shit. had them, a pair might go missing. Uh, but since it doesn't even work with a water, it doesn't matter. Um, hmm. Wouldn't be flight, people would notice that. Well, it could be an invisible flying thing. But then they would at least scream if something picked them up. Well, they'd probably say, get your fucking hands off me and then fight back. Oh yeah, I, I'm the So one they must be unconscious at least, or incapacitated in some way. I feel, like hey, it would be, like... I feel like it would be a quick thing, though, like... There's any protection on the ship from teleportation or such? No, as a matter of fact, we teleport on and off on a regular basis. Well, he said that he was getting teleported in the sub, so I thought there might have been a chance of it. Could be some interplanal bullshit. Have you tried moving the ship somewhere else? I don't suppose it's... You see, this would make sense if it was the same ship, but last time it was the... I just have to double check which ship was it. Last time was the... Yeah, last time was on the Heartbreaker, this time it was on the Eye Catcher. And the Eye Catcher is out in the middle of the bay. And no other ships at all outside of your fleet have reported this. Correct. Actually, have we checked? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure, considering who the crew is, it's a bit of a specific targeted thing. Yeah. Not to mention, it would be a particular issue, because if our sailors come off of the ship, they'll be visible. If anybody was just plinking random sailors, you'd think there would be a little bit of a snafu about a random drow sailor coming off the boat. There has been none. Well, let's just hope they're not all dead. Cheerful thought. Eh, uh, well, no inroads on it. Hopefully you get a clue of something. And I mean, we'll be checking the boat, but I'm not sure if we'll be scraping around the higher-ups you could pull off a job like that. 
We'll have to see. Um, I suppose to keep an eye on Felrex so that he doesn't hurt himself. And whenever he is able, please do have him come home. That'll be a few hours from now. Might be most of the day. I am I'm responsible. Fine. Yeah, Lou's responsible for me. I suppose I could hurry it up a wee bit. I don't know, it's kind of That's entertaining to watch him like this, though. You don't give Lou responsibility. He's perfectly responsible. I didn't even say it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? looks very amused. I don't think he's enjoying the buzz as much as he should. No? Bam. He is no longer drunk and very confused looking. Can I have those eggs? <laughs> oh, um... Thanks. Hello. I already ate them. You're hello, getting a wee bit... Uh, you're getting a wee bit close to a funny mood there, so, uh, just got you through it a bit faster. Um, that, 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 thank you. You're still welcome to hang, to hang about the house and all that there, no worries there, it's just... <laughs> you know, now you get to enjoy it a bit more. He is a bit blushing. It's all right. He is clearly he... embarrassed. It's all right, he didn't hear a thing. <laughs> Look at them. There's nothing behind those eyes. Now, if I have two eggs together... No, sorry. Two smashes eggs together. Ah, correct. It's the most intense he's ever thought about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I think I should probably go. And he rather quickly goes to Cribbig. Oh, see you later, Felric. Ask on. Oh, um, Thanks for the bed thing. He, he, he runs back over, gives you a quick little hug, and then runs back. I didn't know Drow could do that. <laughs> I didn't know Drow could hug. <laughs> why, why couldn't we? Oh, I, I've always had trouble with the halfling family. They're so wide. I never really thought about it. <laughs> so we, we can. I we will just... try this one day. <laughs> you don't hug people? What a fucking statement. It's hugging. I'll have to try it one day. <laughs> You've never hugged somebody? I'm sure I have. Hey, this is you being drunk. Okay. I don't think of the alcohol. I think it's just anything that slides from his mouth. Now he stopped and he pauses and just goes... Wait, what was the question that everybody was asking about? Because I was a bit too teetled to, to really notice what the question was. Who does Saloon have a crush on? <laughs> he doesn't have a crush on anybody. Oh yeah, he's dead now. Well, I mean, but back then he didn't either. He didn't have any female influence. Mm, he said not... he got his power from some lady. Mm. Now that Felric is actually sober, Harton, you all see him go sheet white again. I'm a group. <laughs> yep, everybody, you see him. <laughs> all of the Harton. All of the Harton and everybody else. There's quite room. a lot of them, to be fair. He does count as multiple. <laughs> and he just kind of pauses and he looks at Kribbik. You don't think it's... Oh, oh, oh um, yeah, come on. You could share. I mean, it's kind of too late to start keeping the secrets now. Felric, instead of responding, switches over to the drow language. Oh, and come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, he said egg. I, I, I can hear what he's saying. He said egg, guys. You're not getting another pancake. <laughs> and the two go back and forth. And now all of a sudden you see Kribig look concerned, but it isn't as sold. We assume through the goggles. <laughs> It's just how his token looks. Yeah, I know. It's just a bit weird. Because it, the eyes are just, you know, the big chibi eyes. Yep. And finally, Felric does switch back over and says, This might be a religious issue? What a shock. 
I'm going to circle back around to Jarlaxle and see what he thinks. I told you he was coming back. Next time I'm going to kill him, though, okay? Could you not tell us sometime? Because if he shows up and informs us, you know he's going to be smug about it. <laughs> Why would he? What? Because he always is. Oh, no. Uh, oh, one second. Where's my... And he starts feeling around for his mask as he realizes he doesn't know where it is. A basement. Basement in the in the top left corner. Oh, uh... I'll, I'll check there. And down in the basement he goes. Forgetting the ladder's not there. No ladder is there. Did you shatter the ladder? No, I didn't shatter the ladder. <laughs> Just your room. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to move to the basement permanently now. He he does come back up as his human disguise. Who the hell is that? Shut the fuck up. It's me, Lou. <laughs> oh, Don't even entertain sorry, that really with see. credibility. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's drunk. You have to give him a little bit of an excuse. No. There's two of them. Kribik just kind of shakes his head and slips back out. Oh, four. I caught that. You're so full of shit I could squeeze your head and compost the field. <laughs> Lou, I think you need a nap. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take this egg's pillow. <laughs> for my mouth. <laughs> That's not really how that works. So we'll, we'll deal with it. Watch him. me. You better yeah. go before this continues. <laughs> I mean, I, I could watch him all for you. You could. I don't know if it'll be that entertaining. We did certainly. Eh, whatever, I'll wait. He just puts his head down next to his plate and starts snoring. And yet somehow steers his head to just bite down on one egg. Every inhale is another piece falling into his mouth. Felric is concerned that you're going to aspirate, and he does move the eggs. <laughs> He just sucks harder. He is chewing. He's all good. <laughs> he is still concerned. It's a, he, he is moving the eggs. Uh, I wish I had spell slots left. <laughs> I identify the, the plate. That's not how this works. One of the eggs is magical. The magic <laughs> is salt. <laughs> I have a feeling if he dies, Jarlaxle will kill me. Nah, he's... I mean, it'd be funny if I tied to an egg. Nah, oh, he's too reasonable for that. You might get shot at that. But he's not going to get rid of an effective, useful worker. Why'd you have to bring up what he said? Hmm? You, Harton! What? Up in the room! Why did you have to bring up what had been said by Saloon up in the room? Did I? I wasn't quoting him. No, you, you were the one who brought up the daddy comment. Oh, that. That's what he's on about. <laughs> uh, well, it's just a it's just a bit of a phrase that's stuck in the head. It was a little bit um, obvious. Plus, what the voice told me all that it's putting pieces together. There's a there's a chance in there. Oh, I hope not. Uh, give me an insight if anybody's actually caring. <laughs> uh, mm, sure. Parton, you have a feeling that Felrex... Hey, Bjorn, you also have a feeling that Felrex thinks that is highly possible. <laughs> he apparently has access to some information you all do not. What a shock. The person at the height of Jarlaxle's organization is more informed than the random adventures. Uh. This I... theory does not leave the room, by the way. There's not a lot of people we could boast to about it. As much as Bjorn and I love a wee anecdote and telling a story. Talking about the parentage of a mate is not exactly one of the things we bring up much. I've insinuated a lot about Bjorn's parentage, to be fair, and he's insinuated back about mine. And he's mostly right. correct in what he did a few times. No, but no, we don't no, bring I, up others. 
I'm going to stress that even amongst the other drow, you don't want this to come up. Nice as you are, we weren't, weren't going to become ambassadors. But yeah, don't worry, it's... but all shtum. Okay, uh, th this includes, you know, any other possible lieutenants that come by. Uh, don't tell uh, Kribig. How many of you are, are you thinking of sending this way, just... I don't know who else might end up... It's like a fucking I mean, bag of holding in my room from what I've seen with the drive. <laughs> I mean, I know Camurio's doing work with some of the stuff from y'all, so don't tell him. Unless Jarl Axel's already told him, in which case that's fine, but d don't, I, I don't think, even I don't float think so. the idea. Don't just, do not float the idea to anybody. This could be incredibly bad. What a shock. He's such a pain in the arse, isn't he? <laughs> As Harton looks at Lou, sleeping with his head on his eggs. This could be That's Jarlaxle's heir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, here's the problem with that. You have to remember, Jarlaxle's a male drow, so that's not how that works. He didn't even change that for his own convenience? He wouldn't think, I would, I would give this to my son and my drow surface industries. I mean, you know, he technically doesn't have any claim to Lou. <laughs> It's more of a random fact. It's just the fact that he's the one who puts that fact forward. I have no claim to you. I have no responsibility owed. I gave you a job. You don't need more from me. <laughs> but so, yes. Tonight, you do remember you have that necromancer thing to, to do, possibly, if you want to. Is there anything else anybody's going to do? Lou is going to take his little nap. And Felrecht also has to take a nap, because, yeah, he stayed up all night with Lou. Well, we have two follow-up investigations. We have the Temple of Gond, and their possible nimble rites. And now we can chat with the bronze, or the brass dragon, to see if he's seen anything below the waters. Oh, and there's hey, Helm's Hold, or... Uh, thing to do. Hmm? Madrex also has a thing to do. Yep. And also Harden has a thing to do. Elm's Hold mm -hmm. Orphanage. So the kids won't be chased by the clergy. So Lou is going to need a full four hours just because <laughs> he did get interrupted and then got absolutely sloshed. Unfortunately, you cannot pick up where you left off. <laughs> so... Sounds like a busy day we've got ahead of us. A lot of questioning. Mm-hmm. You lot want to be questioning your way to the Temple of Gone first? Yeah. Might as well start there as any other. Yeah, well, I've got to check my map and all. Time to see if the kids are awake yet. Yeah. I guess I'll catch up with you. Well, unless you want accompaniment. Actually, I think this should take all that long. The guy I'm supposed to visit is just across the street, I think. Mm -hmm. He's right. just down the alley. But would you like some company with you? Sure. Why not, I guess. <laughs> well, oh. you've got most of the people here you could ask. Not Levo, he's useless right I now. Mean, I mean, if someone wants to come, I wouldn't keep them, but I don't think I need someone with me. <laughs> I've seen dungeons that are more inviting. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, yeah. Oh. Gonna... oh, that's actually completely in character. He is not too yeah. certain if he wants someone there. I know. That's why the response was in character. Yeah. Also, Lou forgot he also has a job, but he's a bit too drunk for that job. I'm responsible. <laughs> yeah. Adrix doesn't know anything about that. 
Yet. Did he tell any of us he had a task to do? Not yet, because Jarlaxle went to him at night. Mm. And specifically mentioned that Nadrax... Oh, no, Wait, no! Wait, no! He no, did no, tell yeah, Harton, that's right, we forgot about this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. just Harton said he wanted to do this. No, you and Gaddix were, were voluntold by Harton. Yep. Forgot about oh, that. Yeah, use use free. Have a project ahead of you. Maybe Horik if you fancy going, but it's not as compulsory as it is for these two. Oh, uh, well, what have they been roped in on? Well, after all, they put their hands where they shouldn't have. Took things they shouldn't have and made shitty apologies. Hey, you know, after that shatter and all the windows broke, uh, where do those papers go? <laughs> they would have been in a drawer, but I mean, I don't know if the drawer would have survived. Ah, the drawer. They are survived. up there, but they are a bit scattered. You'd have to reorganize them. <laughs> yeah, I should probably read it anyway. It'll help. Hey, fuck! We'll have to check his room. Uh, he's meant to leave a file of papers and all on the desk of this fucking name. I'm trying to remember. Fucking Gaxley Rudderbust at the Waterdeep Wazoo. So, uh, a local paper place. It's actually not that far away. You just take a... You just head e uh, eastwards out. A wee bit north. But he's not to be seen, and no one's to know who put the file down. So I thought these two sneak thieves would do a decent job at it, maybe. And helping them out. Uh, how come I feel this plan might be actually, um, failed before it started? But never mind. Oh, I don't Should know why. To... As he just looks across at Lou with his head on the table. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got a few hours until then, but uh, I'll go sort out his room. I've got a cover of a window holes as well. Uh, just a long walk uh, up. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll, come, I'll come lend you a hand. Damn it. No, I actually have to go up. I was going to stop in the kids and waste some time. Uh, and would... as a matter of fact, the dirty dishes are making their way to the sink on their own. Leaf I... is helping out. I could get a leaf. Hmm. I think he's doing all right now. Hey. Or maybe you saw those guiding bolts last night and realized you don't want none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Just think, if we get an undead infestation in the house, and Hart just level up a bit more, he'd just destroy undead and potentially take Leaf with him. Yeah, at this point, the Dark Elf infestation is worse than the uh, ghost infestation. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a way, last night was an undead and drow infestation. <laughs> is every time like you turn around, a new drow pops up? <laughs> as soon as the light just turns off, they're just like everywhere. They're in the corner, they're under the bed. All yeah. right. So, who are we doing first? Nadrax. Okay. Nadrax, you go on down to the tiger's eye. Yeah. And the door is, is locked, is and it says to ring the. Is anyone else actually coming with him, or will he go alone? I think you're on your own because yeah. Harton's going right. up, yeah. I don't yeah, have to go with everyone. Other people can volunteer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The problem like, is most of our yeah. lot isn't friendly. I mean, yeah. Bjorn, can, Bjorn can go with you if you need some muscle. They should be. I don't know why they aren't. Harton raised them better than this. I mean, I'm just going to talk. Okay, you need some muscle. I can hear that. <laughs> 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 just going to talk. Next, next day we're just Nadrex just getting thrown out a window. Bjorn rolling up his sleeves in anticipation, cracking yeah. each knuckle. So you two go down to the tiger's eye, and of course it says to please ring the bell. I will ring the bell gently. After a moment, Vincent Trench does pop up at the door, dressed quite smartly in a, sh in a rather sharp suit, 
and he's smoking his little pipe. Ah, yes, hello there. The neighbors, hey. yes? Hey, yeah, pardon if you heard a bit of a noise. I'm, I'm one of the visitors last night. Not big worries. Yes, I was interested about that. I've heard your little undead problem. Glad you solved it. Well, that news traveled fast. Well, let's be realistic. I am a uh, private eye. I have to know things. True, I guess. He also lives next door, and we had a whole ream of guards going through our house for four hours. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, he's probably talked to the guards. If he's I have my phone. sources. Ah, yeah. But anyway, we've come here, well, I've come here because you were recommended by someone for investigations. Yes, that is what I do. I am a uh, private eye. All right. Uh, there is... There are some people I would like to find, but I have no idea where they are or if they are even alive at the moment, fortunately. Hmm. Uh, where were they last that you knew? Well, here's the kicker. Some of them were in Skullport. I last saw them a decade ago. And they were in chains. Ah, that's a bit unfortunate. Yes. Mm. Hence why I said I neither know where they are, nor if they are even alive. Hmm. But well, I guess it will help if I do mention they are actually all dragonborn family, to be precise, except one. And oh? they do come originally from a village uh, east. Yeah, east of Waterdeep. Uh, how long would that actually be to travel, Rina? I'm not actually... Mm. Um, where was it again? I think I marked it down for you. Yeah. Whereabouts is it? On the map? On the big map? Yeah. I've linked it to you. Oh, thank you. Uh, there we go. Um, probably three or four days. All right. Yeah, in the mountains, three or four days. Eastward, slightly northward. Not sure if you've ever heard of that, or if the village still stands. Well, I'd have to do a little bit of a look. This is technically outside of the city. I do most of my work inside. But I do have contacts in Skullport. If you give me the list of names, this will be a little bit more expensive than my normal work. I could get started. Usually I charge about 50 gold, but 100 would probably get me started at least and put in the right direction. I would need to know oh, names and descriptions. Um, narrowing down on the dates if you can as well. Just, this isn't going to be quick, necessarily. It'll probably take a long while as I gather the important resources. All right. I'll scribble down a list for him. For the siblings and the friend. Because parents weren't actually there at the moment. So... Three black dragonborn, one silver. He takes the list, looks it over. Yes, I can not necessarily promise anything right now, but I can at least get you headed in the right direction. 
And he does hold out his hand for that gold. Yeah. Matrix hands it over. Right, so I will swing by whenever I get any information. Uh, I should be able to get mm. some leads. I mean, thankfully, you Dragonborn are a little bit more distinct. Yeah, I've heard that. All right, then. So, um, is there anything else you two would wish to discuss? Well, I think I should be good. I mean, I don't have too much hopes, to be honest, but, well, I was given gold for that. He looks at you, Bjorn. Uh, no, I was just mostly accompanying, accompanying my, my friend here. Disappointingly rolling the sleeves down. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, good man, good man. All right, then uh, I'll be getting to work, and I hope you all have a good day. Uh, you, well. that, you too, the, then. And the door shuts and locks. See you soon. Okay. Oh, it's crap. Yeah, it's. I had no idea that you were in this dire situation. <sighs> I don't like to wallow in it. Well, I mean, kidnapped been kidnapped is. I don't, don't know what I would call that wallowing. I mean, they kind of shared their fate. I don't know what. I mean, if I were in this in this year's shoes, I guess I I'll be in the same thing. Though I'll, I'll probably just be starting hitting faces until they I either drop killed over or someone started giving me names. Well, when did all of that happen? I was the one who's gotten his face beaten, uh. and. I don't really want to go down there to Skullport again. I don't think I would come out alive easily, at least. Did leave some bodies there. Yeah, sound, for some it looks sounds nasty. Well, let us know if we're going to have to go on a da daring rescue mission. Well, maybe, maybe not. Depends. What he finds. Nay. I mean... Part of me doesn't... Part of me doesn't dare to hope. But... I guess some confirmation one way or another is better than not knowing at all. That is true. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the others. Nay. Martin. Yes. You're going up to check on the children. Check on the kids. He's got an, one shoulder covered with a couple of boards, hammers, nails. The other has a few bowls, a few plates. Just oh. a lot to carry. They are very sleepy, but they do kind of wake up a little. Oh. Hi, Mr. Harton. It's. I mean, you can. It'd be Mr. Glenbrook. You can just call me Harton. You can call me that if you want. Here, I've got your breakfast. You don't have to wallow your ways down just yet. Thank you. It was a really busy night. Pretty busy day in general as well. I was a bit of one. Is the scary thing coming back again? No, no. He's dealt with here. Uh... Probably would have brought Uzana with me as well if I was doing this. Give Pio a chance to talk, she doesn't do it a whole lot. Don't have much reason to. Actually, I was going to probably go get your book on uh, <laughs> the <owl> Bear. <laughs> if you want to. I do. <laughs> it's in James with you as awake. Anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. 
it would have. It was that the head of dry we dealt with. Nasty, nasty killer. Came back for one last go of revenge and then we beat the ever loving piss out of him. Do the dead routinely get back up? Uh, usually not under their own compulsion. In this case, he was just really hateful towards Lou, especially because he was a bit irritating. But you can understand, you've met Lou. It's not often, though. Takes a real uh, determined type, usually in the worst way, you know, a bit of a crazy. Funnily enough, we are going to be possibly dealing with some undead in the very near future, but of uh, a simpler kind. Zombies, skeletons, the ones that are just brought up through magic. You know, it's not the person in any way. They've usually got no will. They're just bodies being puppeted about by spells of usually nefarious evil types. Oh, um. but it's all right. His body's been taken away. It'll be probably consecrated. Made so he can't rise up again. Plus, we really did put the boot in this time. So he won't be back. Um, okay. I know a lot of things happened last night, but it was all under control. Okay. Um, that's okay. Are we going to do more lessons today? Actually, we've got quite a busy day today. We've got places to go around to to ask questions. The Uzi said she was going off on a book to find out about the owl bear. Apparently not too long before it hatches. So we've all got to be learned up on that, yet. Yeah? yeah, we gotta, yeah. <laughs> but also I we've... Think... Hmm? I, I think we'll stay in today. Well, I was going to drag you about to go to Helm's Hold and give a wee explanation. I might need you to corroborate my story about the fact that you've actually got a roof on the, over your head now. But well, we could do... do we could do that another day. No, we could do that. Um, that way we don't have to go chasing halfway across the city again. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to make a non run to get vengeful. Will they actually let you do that? Hmm? But will they actually let us stay here? If you just want. Yeah? Good. Because I look at Jews and I think, no, these aren't the trio of urchins. I do think of you as my kids now. I know it's been a short term, but you're entertaining. <laughs> You've got a lot of potential in you. And I'm gonna need someone that I'm gonna need someone to help me with me all there, and I need responsible types. And if you've noticed, my best friends are not that. Jenks just speaks up. I can be responsible for the owl bear. Well, it's a joint responsibility. We've all got a chip in. You see Nat not nodding along squidly just goes, It's going to be really fun. We're going to play with the elbow, right? Oh, I. We're going to teach it to be friendly with us. Okay. Nice and socialized. Because okay. remember, kids, when you teach a wild animal, it will never turn. It will be an always consistent creature. <laughs> At no point will its behavior be mystifying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> right. But if you just want to help me out at the moment, I've got to go fix up Lou's room a wee bit, and it could do with someone to hold a nail or keep a tarp pulled down. Okay, we can do that. Excellent. Right, up we go. They go up. Most of them are fine when they go up. Jenks walks right back out with all the blood that's still in the room. Oh, I forgot to clean this up a bit. No, oh, you're all right there. Okay, it's mostly just loose. <laughs> that's straight up there. I'll go, I'll go get them up in bucket. Yep. Bjorn, Nadrax, you all come back. Uh, I'm gonna head upstairs trying to help out with getting the Doors and whatnot fixed up. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a draft going to be whooping down from up top. Uh, I'm lucky my room is still, you know, is still okay. 
It is still okay, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're in one piece so far. Yeah. It's just you don't have a chimney up there, so it's one of those things where if the next room is really cold, yours is going to be probably very cold as uh, well. But it's spring, isn't it? So it should be fairly warm. Oh no, spring is still fairly cold. We're on the coast. Oh. All right. A lot of sea wind. I guess that will require more blankets then. Right. Mm -hmm. Just a pile of blankets <laughs> and underneath, barely visible, the dragonborn. <laughs> so, yes, you all do get that patched up. Uzana, you're going to get the book, yes? Yes, indeed. Yep. And that is more than easy enough. I mean, you, you know how to research things, so you go on down. You can find the book with relative ease, and you do check the book out, I assume. And you do come on back. Is mm. anybody else doing anything? Yeah, lazy sods. I assume Lou is taking a nap. Yeah, Lou, Lou is out cold. <laughs> Does Lou go back down to... His hole. The, the basement, or is he just falling asleep at the table? Eh, the table will do it. We can get a new hammock. <laughs> Felrect is going to prod you and suggest that you sleep somewhere more comfortable. Do we have a couch upstairs? We have yeah, the bedrooms downstairs. Room. And we also have couches upstairs. Bed roll on a couch. I'm a genius. Two bed rolls on a couch. Well, you're How a genius who's raised even higher from the floor. <laughs> I'll get those, and then I'll help you go upstairs, okay? Thanks. He goes down, gets all the stuff, comes back, offers an arm, because, yeah, you're still drunk as shit. I have had better ideas. Yeah, hey, thank you, thank you. And with that, he does lead you up and over to the common room and to the couch in front of the fire. Martin recounting the fight they had, leaving out Gaddix's misfires. <laughs> <laughs> does over does overstate Uzi's amazing skill with the guiding bolts. <laughs> no, it works now. <laughs> There's now a hole in the bar. He's just glad that everyone is gone for a moment. <laughs> Like the second someone walked out, everyone walked out. He just tested his gun. Fucking heard that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was Bjorn. I was trying to sleep, dude. Come on. And yes, Felric does get you know the, the couch is all laid out with the bedroll. He gets you all tucked in. It's a bit awkward. It's a oh. dwarven style court court couch. It's very angular. Like Lou's you. neck is going to look the same as Saloon's when he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> then the corner is just the intimidating presence of the empty. Felrect tucking in Lou. Yeah. Yep. And Lou put, he's, puts on his little sleeping cap and goes, me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so whoever ends up walking into that room, there are two, two trancing drow in the corner. <laughs> Trance all night long. <laughs> Oh, you're right, then. You all get the room boarded up. Anything else from anybody else, or are we kind of fast-forwarding to something? Yeah, as I scoop up all this paperwork. Well, I would like to point out that it's also quarter past five in the morning. Yeah, yeah, we, got time, yeah. we got ten minutes left. Yeah. That's but we've trying. got our is list of activities. Else? Yeah, is there anything else that anybody else is planning that's quick or to get on the docket for the next morning? I mean, I'm gonna have to go meet the guild just to get materials. Yeah. Speak to the window guild. That'll be a pain. Window <laughs> guild. Oh come on! No one gonna groan at that one. That's actually a thing. It's the it's the glass blowers. No, guild. no, no! I said it's a. I have to go talk to the window guild. That'll be a pain. 
Oh, I God. didn't even catch it, to be honest. Because <laughs> it is 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> well, it's no surprise with a joke like that has to be used double. Oh, God. <sighs> oh shut up. <laughs> Suppose a bit tarnished now, stained, if you will. No. Oh, can no. someone stop him? <laughs> no, we literally can't. It's time to cut the stream. <laughs> it's time to cut the stream, I think. <laughs> yeah, we'll get back to this next week ish. Maybe. Likely. Hmm.